Hello, can you hear me? I think you can. Hello, hello. I'm still not entirely set up. I have terrible time management. But I thought I'd go live while I'm setting up anyway, since you guys are here. Ooh, just getting my ring light up. Can you hear me? I'm gonna wiggle my fingers so you know I'm talking. Can you hear me? I don't know. There we go, that's another light. Hello, yes, okay, you can hear me. Good, good. Yeah, someone said there's not a lot of people here. I don't know, I didn't get a notification for my stream either. I usually get notifications because I have a different account. I have my martial arts Twitch account, I have my personal account, and I follow myself <laughs> from my personal account, but I didn't get the notification either. Uh, so that's a bit strange. Hello, hello, haven't spoken to you guys in so long. There we go. Sorry, I'm just setting up. I have terrible time management. <laughs> I didn't get one either. Oh, it's okay, we'll be a little bit more intimate today. A little bit less of us. We can do a little bit more talking. <laughs> I got this bracelet. Uh, the pattern number for it is in the title of the video, or if you're watching a replay on YouTube, uh, then it is in the description of the video. Uh, I did a tutorial on this. I filmed a tutorial yesterday and I need to finish the bracelet um, so I can film the um, end of the ties, basically. I want to... So the tutorial... This bracelet is actually super easy. There's only like one row that repeats over and over again. Um, but it's a bit challenging to figure out where you want to do the triangle ends if you're going for that. So basically instead of explaining... Well, not instead of. In addition to explaining how to actually do the repeating... Um, pattern, which is only one row, I also explain how to do the beginning for the triangle ends, and I also want to do an explanation of how to do the end of the triangle ends, but I need to actually get to that point first before I can explain that, so we're knotting it. <laughs> oh, someone already to follow me on Instagram. Yeah, I uh, took a picture of that. There we go. I will follow you after the stream. I updated the description of that reward to say that I'm only going to be following people with bracelet accounts, uh, because I feel like that makes sense, you know? Um, I feel like that makes sense. So the way that I pin down or tape down bracelets that have a loop is I thread through a piece of string and then I tape that down because I need more, especially at the beginning, like you can't really, like you can't really just tape down the loop because that doesn't give you enough grip. So I like to add a bit more string to the top and then tape that down. I'm going to put it a little bit higher. I got myself some new masking tape. It's not perfect. You have to use quite a lot of it to get it right because it doesn't have a really good grip but I like to use masking tape because it doesn't leave any residue on the table or on the bracelet. It just sort of holds it in place without leaving any residue. Someone redeemed another follow me on Insta. I will take a picture of that and I'll follow you after the stream. I just updated to iOS 14 and now my phone is Junimo themed. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. I'm nodding right now. Yeah, I feel like my streams typically tend to be like a group nodding session. <laughs> like a lot of people seem to join uh, and they're nodding at the same time. So we have a little group nodding session. I like that. I haven't streamed for so long. Uh, I'm so glad to be back. I had a bit of a rough week last week with some stuff that I was dealing with. But then this week I'm finally like feeling better and I have more time, but I was using that time to catch up on other stuff. Like I filmed two videos in one day. I have another video for, I have a really like spooky video pre-filmed for the month of October. If you guys want a spoiler, I can maybe spoil you what that bracelet is, but I filmed a not with me video, but I don't want to post it until October rolls around because it's kind of spooky themed. Uh, so I filmed that and then I also need to film uh, my uh, my wrap up for the month and I want to get this bracelet done before I can film that wrap up and I also filmed a tutorial for this so I've been sort of catching up on other stuff uh, so I haven't had the time to stream yet I'm glad I'm back though um, would you rather would you rather us call you Marsha or Maria as that's your actual name both of them are my actual name Ma uh, Marsha is just like a shortened version of Maria in Russian uh, so it's the same name essentially I don't really mind I Honestly, I prefer it when my subscribers call me Masha because nobody else calls me Masha in the English-speaking world and whenever people call me Maria, like, it's usually my friends. Um, I don't know, but I don't mind. You can call me anything, really. I will take a picture. Another Follow Me Redemption, I can see. Spoiler, yes. Okay, I'll give you a spoiler. I don't know the pattern of this. This is a spoiler both for the Not With Me video 
and for my wrap up. Oh, someone subscribed with Prime. Thank you very much, Narcissa3, for your subscription with Prime. You're on a three month streak. Wow, that's wonderful. Glad to see you've stuck around. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, if you don't know, if you have Twitch, uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you can connect it to your Twitch account by Googling how to do that. Just Google Twitch Prime uh, and you can find out how to do that. And then you can subscribe at no extra cost to you. So you can support me and uh, the stream. Well, essentially the channel, because everything that I get from the stream goes towards the channel. Uh, but you can support me without paying extra money. You can just link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, creating Twitch Prime. So thank you very much for doing that. Um, but yeah, it's this one. I did a Not With Me video for it. Uh, well, I filmed it, I haven't actually done the voiceover yet, but I filmed a video for it and I'm going to be posting it sometime in October. I have the pattern for this in uh, my to-dos, but I don't remember the pattern number offhand. Uh, I'll leave it for the, for the YouTube replay, I'll leave it in the description. If it's not there, remind me later, please. I think I might make this in Christmas colors, yeah. I think this is a really cool pattern. I actually made this in entirely in one sitting. I just sat down and I made this bracelet like in one go. Uh, you can probably, you can't really tell because of the video quality, but the eyes, like the green, the orange, and the yellow, they're all sparkly, uh, Alyssa strings. So they're really nice. Um, but yeah, I basically made this in one setting. It took me two and a half hours. I just got a notification for my own live. Look at that. That's what? 12 minutes late. Perfect. Great Twitch. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, I... What was I talking about? I made this in one sitting. It took me two and a half hours um, combined. If I, I went through the footage and I looked at it. It took me two and a half hours, but in, in reality it took me a bit longer because I did take breaks in between. I did it in, basically in one sitting, but I had to pause to charge my camera. So it wasn't exactly one sitting. It was one evening though. Uh, I don't understand how people can make bracelets in one sitting. I usually don't do that, but I was trying to film it in one go. I wanted to finish filming the video because, like, setting up all the lights and camera and everything, like, it just takes a lot of time. So I prefer to, like, sit down and do it in one go uh, if I can. Like, this bracelet isn't that big. Like, I mean, it's two and a half hours of filming, but still. Uh, Marsha, do you play Among Us? I saw some patterns in your to-dos. I do. I've been obsessed with the game. Okay, let me start nodding, actually. I've been absolutely obsessed with the game. Thomas showed it to me uh, one time, and I've been absolutely obsessed since. I, In fact, I've got a <laughs> playing session scheduled for after the stream. Uh, I'm going to be going to play with my friends. i got a group of friends uh, who I play with somewhat regularly, um, and I love it. It's so great. Uh, I've played with some of you guys as well. You should follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I sometimes post uh, on Instagram if I'm playing Among Us, I post the code. And uh, I've played quite a lot actually with you guys already and it's been pretty fun. Uh, some people come back for regulars and it's really fun to see people. I feel like whenever you guys like see I post Among Us uh, codes, you assume that like everyone's already joined so you don't even try to join. And that's not the case. We actually end up waiting for people to join quite a lot because I think a lot of people look at it and like, ah, it's already full anyway, I'm not going to try. Um, when in fact we wait in between rounds for people to join sometimes for a bit. Uh, we usually get stuck on like uh, seven, eight people and we wait for it to fill up to ten. So whenever you see that I've posted an Among Us code to my story and before I've deleted it, if I still, if it's still up, that means we're still playing. Um, I only delete the stories after, uh, I delete the stories as soon as we stop playing. So if the story is still up, that means I'm still playing. Um, so yeah. You're gonna do live while playing Among Us? I was thinking about that, but how would I do that? I don't want to play with random people. Um, because it's boring and I usually get kicked off. Like, for those of you who don't know what Among Us is, oh, someone redeemed a follow on Insta. I did just follow you. I followed you on Insta, but you have a follow me. My Insta is this, and I literally just followed you before the stream. Um, yeah, that was from last stream. I'm sorry about that. It took me a while, but I did just follow you. Um, same with the second person. I'm pretty sure I followed both of you literally just now. Um, so, for those of you who don't know what Among Us is, it's a really stupid game, but it's really fun. Basically, there's a group of people, um, you're on, let's say, a spaceship, and you have some tasks to do, but there's uh, a certain amount of imposters, one, two, or three imposters on the ship with you, who are, instead of doing tasks, are actually trying to kill you. So you need to uh, finish your tasks and figure out who is killing everyone. So that's kind of the um, point of the game, and whereas if you are the imposter, you're goal is to kill everyone without being detected. Uh, so that's what the game is like. Um, I don't remember what, what I was saying before that, but it's a really fun game. I've been really addicted to it. I really want to make some patterns for it. Um, and it's, it's been great. 
it's been great. You should try singing in Among Us. I wasn't there, I was in the vents, yeah. I hate- oh yeah, I was talking about how uh, I don't know how to stream it, because I hate playing with random people, because, like, every single time I play with random people, I get kicked off for the stupidest reasons. Like, I come up to people, I see them vent, I go report it in an emergency meeting, I'm like, oh, I just saw the imposter vent, it's this person. And they're like, oh, yeah, you know, you're acting kind of sus, and then they just kick me off, when I literally told them that someone vented. So I hate playing with random people. Last time I was playing with random people, um, the, the lights went off, so everybody went into the electrical to fix the lights, and I didn't, because I'm afraid of group kills. Because when the lights are out and a lot of people are in a group together, it's really easy for the imposter to kill someone without being detected, because even though there's a lot of people around, you can't really see. So I don't usually go to fix the lights when I see a lot of people are going there anyway, because what's the point? People are going to fix it anyway. And I'm just gonna be there for a group kill, and I don't want to do that. And they were like, oh, you're acting so sus, you didn't go for the lights. I'm like, yeah, because I don't want to get killed. <laughs> but they kicked me off. So I hate playing with random people, but at the same time, like, I can't really play with my friends, because my friends and I play in Russian, so I can't stream me playing with my friends. Um, and I can't really stream... I would love, I would love to go on stream and play with you guys, but I don't know how to do that, because if I do that, then you'll be able to see if I'm the imposter, you know what I mean? Like, you'll be able to watch the stream and sort of cheat that way, intentionally or unintentionally, like, you'll be able to see if I am the imposter. So, I don't know how to really... I don't really know how to do that. Uh, people are redeeming follows. Would you rather, first of all, would you rather play Among Us for 24 hours straight or make bracelets for 24 hours straight? Neither. If I play Among Us... Okay, yeah, I'm gonna choose bracelets. I really enjoy, I'm obsessed with the game, but I don't want to play it for 24 hours straight because then I'll get anxiety dreams. I've already had anxiety dreams um, thinking, like, I would be asleep and I'm thinking about my friends and I'm trying to convince them that I'm not the imposter. It's just a mess. So definitely bracelets, because uh, if I play too much Among Us, then I get anxiety dreams. Um, follow me on Instagram. Two people... Yeah, two people redeemed. I will take a... Oh my god, that's such a glare. I can't really take a proper picture. There we go. I took a picture of it. Uh, I've never been an imposter and I want to be one so bad. <laughs> oh, you should play more. You'll get it eventually. Uh, thank you so much for following me. That made my whole year. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, thank you. Uh, do a podcast or something. Nah, I've got too much on my plate already. I'm trying to juggle all the social medias that I have. <laughs> I don't need anything else at the moment. Mm. Yeah, sorry. I was just reading the... Uh, messages but yeah I really really enjoy the game I've been completely obsessed with it I've been non-stop playing it um, and then also like whenever I'm doing anything else like whenever I'm knotting a bracelet or literally doing anything else I've been watching streams of it um, it's it's it's, uh, it's a mess my favorite streamer uh, right now is um, Z the Royal Viking I think that's his name I also quite enjoy chilled chaos um, I like their group of people, like if anyone knows who I'm talking about, but I like their group of people. They play uh, Among Us quite a lot, and I quite enjoy watching them, they're really fun. Alright, someone else redeemed to follow me on Instagram. I'll take a picture and follow you after the stream. <sighs> oh yeah, I see quite a lot of people join now. <laughs> the notification finally went out. <laughs> nice to see you guys. How are you guys doing? I've been doing good. I saw someone ask me. I've been doing good. I've been doing good. Uh, does Among Us cost money? It does if you buy it on PC, but you can also get it on uh, your phone for free. You just have to watch some ads between the rounds. Um, I've been doing good. I did have quite a bit of a rough week last week, uh, but I, you know, powered through it. I'm doing better. I am, in general, doing quite well. <laughs> um, I've been quite open about, like, my mental health journey and everything. Like, I've been struggling with it for a while. I didn't really talk about it for a while because I sort of was in denial for my, in, to myself. But I've accepted that I'm struggling, and I've accepted that I need help, and so I've been trying to seek help. Uh, and it's been going good. I've been going to a therapist for like two or three months now, and I think it's been going quite well. I've started to see some real progress. And I think it's just, it's not just the fact that like, oh, like, the therapist is supposed to help you. I think it's just also the fact that like, once a week, um, I sit down and I spend um, like an hour of my day to just sit back and reflect about my life, reflect about my mental state, how I'm doing, um, how I'm, what I'm doing to try to make myself better, how I'm working on, um, you know, getting to a better place and on my mental health and on my internal balance and blah blah blah. And I think just that 
the fact that I'm reflecting on myself is really good, and I highly recommend anyone do that, really. Whether you can afford therapy or not, I think scheduling some me time where you just sit back and think about how your week is going and just reflect on yourself is a good activity to do in general. So I find that that's been helping me quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I've been doing good. I've returned back to work. You might have seen on my uh, Instagram story, my restaurant opened back up, so I'm now back to waitressing. I was off for six months because of COVID. But now I have to go back, I'm now a waitress again. The restaurant has changed so much. There's so many new rules about how we take people in. There's like a virtual queue. We've reduced our capacity by like 50%. There's only like 15 tables now in the restaurant, which I think there used to be even more than 30. So it's even more than 50%. So yeah, uh, plus there's like less people working. You have to wear masks in the restaurant uh, for like the workers. There's a bunch of new rules, you have to wash your hands regularly and blah blah blah. So we had a huge three hour long staff meeting recently where we were discussing the new changes. And uh, yeah, there's a lot going on. So I'm back at work now. I sent you a mail a couple of months ago. Uh, do you plan on opening it in the future? Yes, I haven't been to my PO box in so long because first I was in, uh, uh, in the Czech Republic and then I had to quarantine for two weeks and then I went to check my um, P.O. box recently, but the, oh my god, the post office where you, where my P.O. box is, is separate from the general post office, and if the general post office has, like, somewhat regular working hours, um, do you work at Wagamama? No, I don't work at Wagamama. Um, uh, but the, I do work in a chain restaurant, but not Wagamama. Um, but then, um, the post office where I have my P.O. box only works two hours a day! The post office that I have my P.O. box works two hours a day and it's from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And I wake up at like 11, 12 because I'm a night owl. And it's like, what? who works two hours a day, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m.? Imagine if I had like a 9 to 5 job. Like, I don't, obviously. Like, if I just wake up early and go, like, I'll be fine. But it, how do people get there? Because it's not just P.O. boxes. It's also like mail that couldn't get delivered to your house, it gets redirected to that post office. So you have to go get your parcels and stuff if you weren't home when they got delivered by the mail. Who, like, what if I had work, you know? Like, how do I get my mail? Oh, people are cheering some bits, thank you very much. Oh, uh, Prox, I cannot pronounce your name, but thank you for the bits, and uh, you're cheering more and more. Thank you very much for the bits, I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I haven't been able to check my mail, but I really need to wake up early at some point and go do it. I mean, everyone should be washing their hands regularly before this eye emoji. Yeah, but now we have to wash our hands every 10 minutes. There's like a specific, there's a timer that's going to be going off in the restaurant and like beeping at us every 10 minutes, reminding us to go wash our hands. I did wash my hands quite a lot. Um, even before COVID, like, especially, I mean, you're a waitress, you know, you pick up the dirty plates, you bring them to the kitchen, you scrape all the disgusting food off into the bins, as soon as you do that, you wash your hands. So I think I was washing my hands every, like, five minutes even, um, because I don't want to then, you know, go back out with dirty hands, like, if I scrape the food off, I'm gonna wash my hands, and that's all I did anyway, I was, like, clearing food off tables. Um, so I was washing my hands regularly anyway, but, like, they, uh, set up a specific timer for us now. Uh, ooh, someone redeemed a follow me. I will take a picture and follow you after the stream. Someone also redeemed a would you rather. Let me check that. Uh, would you rather have only DMC type thread or have all types of different thread? I don't want to stick to a specific brand ever. This is actually an entirely DMC. This one is uh, fully DMC. Um, but I don't... Oh, I can hear my washing machine go off. I forgot I did laundry. <laughs> uh, but I did, um, but I do enjoy a lot of different, I do enjoy a lot of different brands. I don't want to stick to a specific brand. So I'm going to choose the other one. Um, I prefer to make my bracelets of one brand. So like all of this string here, especially in alphas. So all of this string here is uh, DMC entirely. And like when I do alphas as well, I try to use like strings from one brand. But overall, it, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, I like different brands quite a bit. I don't really have much of a preference. Uh, you should do a mail opening stream. I, I, I don't think you guys, I think I get much less mail than you guys think I get. I don't advertise my PO box a lot because when I did I got really overwhelmed with mail and now that I don't advertise I get much less mail than you think I do. I probably get like 
two, three parcels slash letters a month. Like, that's really not a lot. I still keep it open because I want to keep it open, but like, I really don't get that much mail. So if you want to send me something, definitely send me something. I'm always open to it. Um, I try to reply to everyone. I don't always <laughs> get it well, but I try to. Um, but yeah, if you want to send me something, do. I enjoy, you know, just letters, uh, bracelets, whatever you want to send me. I quite enjoy that sort of connection. Why don't you work at a grocery store? It sounds more fun. I mean, to be honest, I want to quit the service industry altogether. Um, I, I really don't want to work there anymore. I'm just tired of it because you... Working with people in general is just like a really challenging task. Anybody who's ever worked in any type of customer service will understand what I'm talking about. It is really, really challenging to work with people. Oh, there's a lot of stories that I can tell uh, that I'm probably not gonna, <laughs> but it's, it's challenging. I really don't want to work with people. I'm currently in the process of looking for um, like an office job, essentially. I still want to continue doing my YouTube thing, but I, I don't know how... I don't think I'm in the position to go full-time YouTuber right now. Um, so I'm looking for an office job at the moment, especially... Do you know what? With YouTube, it's such a weird place to be. I think with every channel it's different. For my channel, I tend to earn more uh, in terms of, you know, money and views uh, over the summer because people are off and they're making bracelets. I, ass I assume that's why. Whereas uh, during winter time, I tend to not make much money at all. Like I can barely afford anything really over the winter time. So I've been saving throughout the entirety of the summer to <laughs> get myself through winter, essentially. Uh, so yeah, I definitely need another job. I can't go full-time YouTuber anytime soon, I don't think. I want to send you a letter, but it might have some questions. I don't want to put pressure on you to reply. Send me a letter. I'll try to answer if I can. I, in fact, I would love to. I really, really try. Um, but yeah, send it. I, I'll try to reply. Uh, would you rather only use DMC for the rest of your life or use everything except DMC? I mean, if the choice is like that, I'll probably use everything but because there's a lot of different brands. DMC, I think people think that it's like the best one out there. It's, it's really good. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it's really good. But um, there's a lot of different brands out there that are really good and I wouldn't it's not that good that I'm just gonna d deny all the rest of them so yeah I used to work in a McDonald's and it was really bad yeah I can imagine I can imagine I totally agree with you Marcia it takes energy to work in customer service yeah it's just mental energy just talking to people you know like you sometimes you get the nicest customers and they're so amazing and you're like oh my god you're just making my day because you're nice but sometimes you get the worst kinds of people who just like expect everything from you and like give you no respect as like a human being. I don't know, it's just people are exhausting. I especially find people exhausting when they stay like hours past closing and it's like, I just want to go home, please go away. <laughs> but I can't say anything to them. Do you, have you ever been recognized in public? Never. Not a single time, and I'm really sad about that because I'm pretty sure there have been people who have recognized me but have never like come up to me. And I say that because there's been situations where I saw like girls with bracelets on their hands, like intensely staring at me, so I assume they recognize me, <laughs> but nobody has ever come up to say hi, and that's really sad. It's probably because the majority of you are in America and I'm not, <laughs> so that's probably why. But if you ever do see me in real life, I would love to meet you, so definitely come say hi. I'm probably going to be super awkward in real life because I just am socially awkward, but I would love to meet you, like, genuinely. Uh, you're so close to 100k! I know! How do you feel? I feel overwhelmed because I haven't finished my merch. <laughs> but I am really happy. It's such a beautiful round number, you know? Uh, someone yelled at me for not greeting them. I think they might have triggered something. I was literally about to cry. Oh, I'm so sorry that happened. Yeah, there have been situations at my job where I was nearly about to cry, but the majority of the situations, like when I get a customer who's like really mean to me, I just kind of laugh about it. Um, how often do you go live? I try to go live two to three times a week, but that doesn't work all the time for me. Um, I already in the stream, but you never follow me. Nuts by G. I think I did just now. I'm pretty sure I did just now. I like I, I remembered. Uh, I remember your username and I did follow a couple of people right before the stream, so check it again and then drop me a message if I haven't still, but I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, would you rather make 30 messy normals a month or make one amazing alpha? Amazing alpha, I'm very much a perfectionist, sorry, let me... I'm gonna grab a cushion because my back started hurting, I'm just gonna put it behind me. Ooh, there we go. I'm very much a perfectionist, I would much rather make a perfect uh, bracelets than not. 
<sighs> Will you do more videos with Thomas? Yes, we actually filmed one recently. Uh, we just need to finish it up and edit it. But yeah, he's <laughs> he's quite enjoying filming with me. So yeah. Would you rather eat melted ice cream or mushy cake? Why do you want to make me suffer? Mushy cake. Because <laughs> like, that's better than melted ice cream. Melted ice cream is just like a milkshake. Am I doing this wrong? Yeah, I made a mistake. Where is my safety pin? There it is. There it is. Oh my god, I made a mistake here. Right here. There we go. I was looking at the chat. Ooh. Oh no, that's too low. Sorry, one sec. Let me just readjust my chair. I wanted to put it a little bit lower. No, it's just way too low. Oh my god. I worked in a gift shop and the customers were really rude. My boss didn't help either. Oh, I'm kind of, I'm really grateful that I have nice bosses. All of my managers are normal people who understand. Like, I once had a pretty bad run-in with a customer. I wasn't rude to them at all. I've never been rude to a single customer, at least not intentionally. I mean, maybe they perceived something that I said as rude, which I think was the situation as this case, in this case, but I've never intentionally been rude to a customer. I always uh, try to be like uh, very professional and I don't think I've ever intentionally you know, said anything to anyone, but this customer definitely perceived me as rude. They called my manager and they talked so much crap about me. They basically, were like giving their side of the story and like explaining how terribly rude I was to them when in reality I was just explaining to them that what they ordered like the meal that they received is what they ordered they just can't tell that it is what they ordered and I was asking if they want it replaced or want something else but I don't know they perceived it as me like talking back to them or something I don't know and it was like a huge thing my manager was there and was talking to them and then they were going around in circles um, and basically, like, that went for, like, a long while, like, a long while they were talking, and then he came back, he came to the back, to the kitchen, and I was like, well, do you want to hear my side of the story? Like, do you want to hear what I have to say about the situation? And he looked at me, and he was like, you know what, I really don't care, it doesn't matter, I believe you, <laughs> like, just don't worry about it, just go about your day. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I'm really lucky that I have, uh, managers that, like, trust me, uh, trust my, uh, professionalism I guess and like are able to recognize problematic customers I think it would be much more difficult if uh, we had a manager that didn't do that so <sighs> have you heard about Landon Clifford I don't know who that is what happened um redeem to follow me on TikTok I will take a picture and follow you after the stream there we go when will the tutorial for this bracelet come out hopefully tomorrow I want to I want to get it out as soon as possible hopefully tomorrow uh, I remember you said you were talking about going down a Harry Potter rabbit hole I just finished going through the Star Kid Potter musicals have you seen them no what is that I have no idea what you're talking about I am going down a Harry Potter rabbit hole I've been less obsessed with it recently like I go through phases where I'm like really obsessed with something I've been my obsession has been slowly letting me go <laughs> but I am still rereading the books I'm in book four I just um where am I in book four? They're just about to start the first task of the tournament in book four and Harry and Ron are not speaking and Harry is just like really sad. Um, so yeah, that's... You did follow me, thank you, great. That's awesome to hear. Yeah, I just did it uh, right before the stream. Um, so yeah, that's a bit sad for Harry that like all his friends, like they're not talking right now. But that is the point where I am. The, the book four, like I don't remember reading books five six and seven at all i don't remember reading them at all um so, so i'm gonna i'm really looking forward to rereading them because i genuinely don't remember reading them at all um but book four i forgot how weird the pacing is in book four it's such a huge book and it's so slow it took 150 pages to just get to hogwarts and it took like nearly 200 pages for the um other schools to arrive for the championship uh, for the tournament um, so it's like it's really really slow, but I'm enjoying it honestly like I enjoy hanging out in the world and just like doing stuff uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> I love seeing my face in the chat <laughs> with the emails. It's so weird <laughs> oh, That's so cool um, d -d 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 How long will you be live? I've been live for 35 minutes now I'm probably gonna be live for about two hours so an hour and a half more maybe more after that I have a among us session later today so I'm gonna go off at some point oh also Thomas and I were gonna wash our windows 
but also it rained today so maybe we shouldn't do that today maybe we should do that at some point later but our windows are really dirty we really need to give them a wash i literally i was gonna like i started washing them before the stream i washed like two windows and then it started raining <laughs> what the point was that i don't know but we need really need to wash our windows can you do some more intermediate tutorials advanced ones confuse me uh, me more often than not and the beginner ones take me less time than i wish to spend on a bracelet it's really difficult, to be honest, to find patterns that I can do tutorials on. Uh, let me try to explain why. Um, I try to do tutorials on patterns that are somewhat simple to segment knot. Um, even like the advanced ones. Uh, like the I did uh, what the Starburst and I did the Diamond Cross. Those are somewhat simple to segment knot because uh, they are big, but they're very simple shapes like it's just chevrons it's just lines it's diamonds they're very very simple shapes um it's just that there's a lot of them which is why it's a bit more advanced but a lot of the bracelets that are in the intermediate zone uh have a lot of like you can't really segment knot them very well and i feel like i would spend a lot of time explaining how to make it without i don't know how to describe it i can't really find many patterns if you have any to suggest i might do a um forum post asking for pattern suggestions so we will see on bracelet book i mean when will you do the next 24 hour bracelet challenge oh i've literally been thinking about that this morning like when should i do it i have no idea <laughs> i'm so intimidated by it i really want to do it again but i don't know they're harry potter musicals they're all on youtube they're fan made and super fun to watch darren chris from glee is in it oh maybe i'll have a uh, maybe i'll watch it yeah thanks for letting me know do you prefer simli or alitza sal simli Forever Seemly or Salsi. I prefer Forever Seemly because it's less fluffy. Uh, but I don't really mind. I use both. Mm. I'm leaving for a wedding in Arkansas tomorrow. Oh, have fun! Uh, the bracelet is turning out so well. I love the colours. Thank you! I like the colours quite, uh, quite a bit as well. I don't know how well you can see it, by the way. Is it a bit too dark? Because I can barely see my screen because I have so many lights and there's like a really big glare on the screen. I can't tell if it's too dark. If it's too dark, I can turn up the exposure a little bit. So let me know. Uh, which video took you the longest to edit? Ooh, the... What was it? Beginner's Guide. That one, definitely. That one took me forever to edit. The Beginner's Guide took forever to edit. The Starburst took forever to edit. The Normal Patterns Tutorial took forever to edit. Um, so yeah, those, like, pretty big ones, definitely. The Diamond Cross took quite a while to edit, but I did edit it m I, that can't, that's such a weird word. I did edit it much faster than I thought I would. It just took a lot of effort, but I managed to get it out quite quickly. Uh, uh, can you do a new follow me type thing? You can do a friend me on Bracelet Book for those of us who aren't allowed on social media. I like that idea, but the bracelet book friend system is a little bit weird. I can't directly go on your profile and friend you from there. I have to find you in the list of my friend requests. And I have a lot of them. I think I'm on about 5,000 now. Let me check. I have no idea, actually. Last time I checked, it was like 4,000, but I don't know how many. Oh, yeah, 5,066 friend requests at the moment. Like, I, I have to find you in that list. And there's no search system either, so I have to like manually click through it and find you specifically. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> so I'm probably not going to do that, I'm sorry. Mm. Did you order key rings uh, yet? And yes, it's a little bit dark. Okay, let me try and make it a little bit lighter. Where's my camera? Webcam. Webcam, webcam. Configure. Exposure, let's not put it at auto. Is that better? Or is it a bit too light now? I don't know. I'm going to leave it at this for now. Hopefully this is a little bit better. Better. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I can barely tell because like, I've got three, I've got two like smaller lights here and I've got my ring light at the top so I can barely see my screen. It's like there's a huge glare. So I can't really tell... Ooh. So many people have just been uploading Among Us patterns. I know! I've chosen one that I want to make. I actually made um, my own one, kind of. Basically, I took an alphabet pattern that exists already on Bracelet Book and I just made some text to fit in with the Among Us theme. And I'm going to take like one of the imposter ones 
um, that someone else created and make that and then add my own text after it. I think it should be good. I'm quite excited to do that. I might do a Not With Me with that actually. I haven't been doing Not With Me's recently and you guys seem to quite enjoy them so I might do that. <laughs> I need to progress. I need to practice segment knotting. I did my first first fishbone chevron seg with segment knotting and it's really beautiful and first and um, I can't speak oh my god this is why I edit my videos because I can't speak unfortunately it's the only one that I can segment knot you should check out some more of my tutorials like all of my tutorials are in segment knotting and I try to put the pattern like on the left of the screen as a guide so you can sort of see how we're going through the pattern in segments and I find that um well, I expect I haven't actually learned that way, but I expect that it can be quite a nice way to learn how to segment knot if you just like look through how people are doing it. Just like learning by example, essentially. So I recommend it. Have you been anywhere in the US other than Florida? Um, I've been to New York. That's all I <laughs> traveled in the US. I've been to, uh, in terms of like major cities, I've been to Miami, Orlando, and New York. And that's it. I really want to travel the US more, but I don't have that much money, you know? Like, I can't just go out and travel. I just graduated from university. I don't even have a proper job yet, so I'm saving money for some stuff. Um, have you already picked out patterns for next month's challenge? No, I'm not going to give you patterns. I'm going to give you a theme again. I quite enjoy it, actually. I used to give you patterns, which was fun, and I think I'm going to go back to it at some point, but I've recently been giving you guys themes instead, and I quite enjoy that, so we might do that. <laughs> we need a This Is Why I Edit My Videos emote. <laughs> yeah, we need that. We need that. <laughs> I learned how to segment knots because of your first Aztec video. I never made an Aztec video. You might be thinking of Alex. I think she did one. Uh, when, where in New York did you visit? I visited New York in 2009, I was 11, um, and there was a friend of the family who lives in New York and we stayed with them, I have no idea where that was, but we went around, you know, the basic tourist areas. I quite enjoyed Central Park, that was probably like my favourite, I don't know why, I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, we went, we saw like the Statue of Liberty, we went to like Manhattan. Uh, we went to a couple of uh, museums, just like the basic touristy stuff. But yeah, that was 11 years ago. Do you think you'll make a posting schedule again? I don't. I actually found that having a posting schedule damages my mental health quite a lot because I end up putting so much pressure on myself that it's just not good for me. So probably not. But I am, I have one in my head that I'm just not announcing. So I have like a basic idea of when I want to post. I, I just don't think I'm ever going to announce it again. So you might at some point start noticing a pattern that I post on specific days because in my brain I like to have a schedule but I don't want to announce it so that people expect me to post a certain day. Um, so yeah, I kind of have one but I don't want to say what it is because sometimes I don't adhere to it and that's fine. Would you rather stop making alphas or stop reading Harry Potter books? <sighs> Why are your would you rather designed to make me suffer? Why? <laughs> make me a would you rather that is nice, that I have trouble choosing because I want to choose both. Why do your would you rathers not make me suffer so much? Stop making alphas probably, honestly. Like, I don't want to stop reading the Harry Potter books. I really enjoy the Harry Potter books. But I really enjoy making alphas as well and I've already read the Harry Potter books. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Have you ever made a keychain other than the one for your tutorial? Yeah, I used to make them quite a lot um, back in the day. I haven't made them recently. I don't know why. I just, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Are you still posting twice a week? I try to. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Uh, when I go to my church in my youth group, there is a girl who literally looks just like you when you were younger. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, when you make like three to eight bracelets per month, and this month I have made 22 and a half. Wow! <laughs> That's awesome. Good for you. I've been making not that many. I think this month I've made... This one is the fifth. So I haven't made a lot. This is the fifth bracelet I'm making this month. What happens to The Sims videos? Technical issues. I, yeah, the file that I was working on, I couldn't get it to transfer from my laptop to my computer. And it was just a, a mess. It was a mess, so technical issues happen. I want to get back to them, but I've just been focusing on other things. Why don't you use your intro anymore? I don't know, I just I feel like I grew out of it. I felt like the 
uh, intro where I was like, oh, my name is Marsha Knotts and today I'm going to be doing this just felt a bit forced. And I wanted the videos to be a bit more natural, so now I had, nowadays I just like sort of start the video. I'm like, yeah, so today we're doing this. And I just start, I don't know, I just kind of... I might get back into um, a intro at some point, but it's just not something I want to do right now. Can you do a Stardew series on your second channel? I haven't been playing Stardew Valley recently, I don't know. I go in phases, but I haven't been playing it uh, for a while. Maybe at some point. People don't really care about my other stuff. Like, people just are here to watch me for my uh, bracelets, which I'm okay with, you know? Like, that's what you subscribe for. You do you. Whatever you want to watch is what you want to watch. People don't really care about my other stuff, so I find it a bit hard to justify making it sometimes. Um, because, like, it's a lot of effort to produce videos, and if nobody's watching them, like, what's the point, really? <laughs> like, not even in terms of money, but in terms of, like, you know, human interaction. Like, I don't get any fulfillment out of it because like I feel I'm just posting into the void and I don't like get any comments even I don't know but we will see maybe at some point I have a 20 year old cat named Mozart and it would mean a lot to me if you said hi to him hi to Mozart and hi to you <laughs> oh that's so cute I'm really jealous I really want a cat but that's really cool good for him a little uh, grandpa <laughs> I guess are you gonna play more among us with us yes Yes, definitely, definitely. I like the no intro style. I like it too. I like it too. Maybe at some point I'll go back to making an intro if I find an intro that I like, but I find it difficult to make one uh, to start with, and then also, I don't know, I just feel like I kind of grew out of that. Oh my god, I hate it when the string does that. Does anyone remember where I started? Because I don't. Also, I'm so far down now, I should probably like lift the bracelet up a bit so you can see. What does participate in a raid mean? Why do you guys keep asking that every stream? Is there, like, is there a button somewhere that you can see? Like, why do people keep asking that every stream? Uh, to participate in a raid is after the stream. Once I finish streaming, we can do a raid and we can raid someone. Uh, which means that we basically transfer viewers to someone else's stream. Mm, that's what it means. But I'm curious why you guys keep asking that every stream. Because, I like, it's such a random thing to ask. I don't know... Uh, why do people do that? Will you make another meme video? Yes, I'm planning on doing that. Um, I don't know when, but I am planning on doing one. <laughs> I am so happy. I was so happy when you said you planned that. Yeah, when you said you filmed a tutorial for this bracelet, I was gonna make it a couple of weeks ago, but decided not to. I can't wait to see the tutorial. Thank you. The tutorial is hopefully gonna be posted tomorrow. I just need to finish this bracelet and film the intro and outro with the finished bracelet. I think you started with orange potentially, but I literally don't remember anymore. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I I need to... What was I saying? I need to post this video soon. Uh, are you going to do a collection video? Yes, I am. Basically, what I'm thinking right now, I've got this tutorial that I want to post tomorrow. After that, I'm probably going to post... I need to film it, but I'm probably going to post a uh, wrap-up video. Then the one after that should be probably a tutorial as well but I don't have anything planned I just like to alternate like tutorials and then fun videos but maybe after that I can post a um, not with me maybe so I'm working on another not with me for an among us pattern I have the not with me filmed for the pattern that I just showed you the spoiler but that's gonna be posted later on in the month of October because it's a bit spooky and I want to post it closer to Halloween so that's in the works. I want to do a meme video for sure. I want to do a challenge video where I make a bracelet based on uh, input from my Instagram polls. And uh, what did you say as well? Collection video. Yeah, I want to post that as well. So there's a lot of videos in the works for the near future. Let's do a raid after this live. I'm planning on it, so yeah. Uh, in your face reveal video, you said you're going to start wearing bracelets and selling them. Is this still true? No, <laughs> I'm sorry to give you false hope in that video. I did heavily consider selling my bracelets. Um, and at the time, it probably would have been possible, uh, but I just had a lot of other things going on. Uh, right now, it's probably not possible anymore. Like, I'm at quite a lot of followers right now, too many to be able to sell my bracelets. I think that the demand for my bracelets is higher than the supply, and I don't want to disappoint people if that makes sense um plus I don't know like I just I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna get into a financial relationship with my bracelets and you guys like I am designing merch and I think merch is a bit different um 
because it's something that like you know you can get if you want to but bracelets i don't know i, I don't want to sell my bracelets it feels weird i don't know how to describe it but it feels weird i don't want to do it i would much prefer you watch my bracelet tutorials and videos about my bracelets just to for the sake of enjoying them and not for like you know looking for something to purchase i don't know how to describe that it just i don't like it the idea of it so no that's not the case anymore in terms of wearing bracelets i don't know i never really got into that either i don't enjoy wearing my bracelets i don't know why okay, let me tape it a little bit higher up so you guys can actually have a better view of what i'm doing do you ever use our suggestions for the raids? I'd love to share our community with some uh, of my crafting Twitch community. Yeah, every single time I do a raid, I ask you guys who to raid, and you guys submit something. So at the end of the stream, I'm going to ask again. Maybe a double triangle end with a loop on an alpha, like the one you made for the Meow bracelet. I still haven't figured out how to do that properly. I need to figure that out, because the one that I did for the Meow bracelet doesn't... It's, it's not good. It's really messy. And it's definitely not very well done. Uh, can you consider doing a video of your experience with sound design, uh, possibly to your other channel? Ooh, potentially. I mean, my experience with sound design is very limited. I only did like a university course about it. Um, but potentially, you know, it's it's a fun uh, topic. I quite enjoy sound design. I even considered doing a career in sound design, which still might be something that I'm interested in. I don't know. Um. Oh, someone sent me a message. Let me just double check. It's not anything serious. No, it's not. It's fine. I'll reply later. Uh, <laughs> Would you ever buy from an Etsy shop? Sorry for self promo, but I haven't gotten any orders this month. I'm not looking to purchase at the moment. I'm sorry. I just I don't really need to, <laughs> I guess. Um, but I, I might at some point do another video, like the one that I did last time where I was buying from Etsy. I might do another video like that, it's just that I spent a lot of money that time, and I just don't really have that much money to spare right now. I'm sort of trying to save. I'm trying to be a responsible adult and get myself, you know, a financial cushion in the case of, like, emergencies and stuff that I can use, so I've been saving my money recently. Mm. I love your new video. Would you rather make a bracelet that isn't in your comfort zone or make three bracelets that you are comfortable with? Ooh. I mean, honestly, three bracelets that I'm comfortable with. I don't like stepping out of my comfort zone too much. <laughs> That's a boring answer, but I'm gonna say that. I, I see a redemption for an Instagram follow. I take a picture for you after the stream. Uh, do you sing? I sing to myself. I don't sing to people. I am very self-conscious about my singing, but I do enjoy singing. My grandma seems to think that I'm really good, but I don't know. It might just be because she is my grandma. <laughs> She's also a musician, though, so I don't know. Maybe she actually does think so. Um, another follow me on Insta Redemption. Let me take a picture of that just after I do this row, and I will follow you after the stream. I just finished my first keychain, and I love it. That's awesome. Congrats. <laughs> All right, let me just finish this row real quick. And let me take a picture of that. Two people. There we go. Well, two people are going to be in one picture. Perfect. Um, if I sing, I sound like my cat dying in the microwave. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. I mean, come on. I think it's fun to sing regardless. Like, you just sing to yourself. Just kind of, you know, lighten your mood a little bit. I don't know. There we go. That's a little bit better. So it's not wiggling as much. Ooh, I don't I know whenever I sit down to stream my back starts hurting I don't it doesn't usually hurt when I'm um, Just nodding but for some reason whenever I sit down to stream my back starts hurting a lot uh, Did you know that yarn art makes multicolored threads like context and there's oh and that I all I can find on the website uh, Also, do you know how many meters are in a context? Well, let me check it Actually, I might be able to tell you in a second if I can find one that has a label on it. Eek, sorry, one sec. I'm trying to get it out. How many meters are in you? Am I just blind? 200. This is 200 meters. There you go. You can see it on there. Is there anything about like size of it? I mean, if that says anything that's like 50 gram plus minus three grams does that explain anything i don't know but this is a complex thread this is what it looks like if you haven't seen but yeah i've heard of yarn art i just i've never used it before 
I might at some point. I just, I don't know, never came across it in real life. I think I need to order it online. Oh, someone redeemed a follow me on Instagram. I'll take a picture of it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I just read that one. Singing is really fun, especially at campfires. Yes. I really like sitting at campfires in general. It's really nice. I wanted to be a singer once, but then I heard my own voice and I was like, never mind. <laughs> oh no. Uh, does Alex have a Twitch? No idea. I know that she streams, but I think she does it on YouTube. I don't think she has a Twitch, but I'm not sure. So I don't know. Uh, I redeemed a follow and you didn't see. Oh no, I didn't see it. Did I miss something? There's... Oh no, I just took a picture of it, don't worry. Um, you inspired me to learn Russian. Someone sent me a message. Thomas sent me a message? No. It's fine. Uh, you inspired me to learn Russian. I just got out of class for this, which feels a bit meta. Uh, it's not the easiest language to learn, but I don't regret it, and I'm so grateful that you inspired me, so thank you so much. That's so awesome! It always makes me feel uh, so awesome that people are learning Russian. That's great! Good for you! I think learning uh, languages is great in general. Oh, someone already to follow me on Insta. Let me take a picture of that. Are you ever going to do another collab with Alex? Potentially. I think we're all a bit busy at the moment, especially with like her starting university. And I just have a lot of other stuff going on. I'm trying to apply for jobs and stuff, so I don't know. Mm. Do you curse swear when you're not filming or streaming? Yeah, I do. Quite a lot, actually. I, like, <laughs> Martian Nuts is definitely me. But it is also a persona, if that makes sense. I think it's the case with any YouTuber or public figure in general. Like, whatever uh, a, like a public figure or YouTuber, whatever, puts out into the world is themselves, but it is also a persona. And uh, my martial arts persona is obviously family friendly. So that's probably the biggest difference between me as a person and me as martial arts, is the fact that me as a person, when I'm not filming, I do curse and swear quite a lot. Um, it is just part of my personality. I, I don't know. But I do restrain myself when I am filming because I do want to be family friendly and I, as much as I do it, you know, in my regular life, um, I also find that, you know, you are able to communicate without it. Um, so why not do it? But yeah, I do in my free time and it's fine. Uh, among all the color combinations that you've made for this pattern, which is your favorite? I don't know. This is the third one that I've done. I've done a, um, oh, I've got it over here, actually. This one. I've done this, and I've also done a pink and yellow, which is somewhere. I have a little baggie. I have now been storing my braces in, like, a bag to separate, because uh, I forget what braces I've done when, and in this bag are all the braces that I've made um, since the last bracelet collection video, so I know which bracelets I need to share in the collection video, so they're all together, but this is the other one that I did for this pattern. It's yellow and pink. I don't know, which one do you guys prefer? I really don't know. I quite like this one though. I think this one maybe, because this is the first one that I did. Um, but I don't know, I like them a lot. These are made with... Um, these two were made with... What is it called? Amazon thread? Like, it's a bit, a bit thicker and it's a bit fluffier now, I think. Uh, whereas this one is DMC, so the knots here are a bit more defined. Uh, but I don't know how to describe it. Um, <laughs> oh, someone redeemed to follow me on Instagram. Okay. Oh, I'll take a picture of that and follow you off the stream. Mm, yellow and pink. I prefer the blue and orange, blue and red, blue and pink. Pink and yellow. All of them. <laughs> Thanks. You should do another video with your younger sister. We live in different countries. <laughs> I would love to, but we literally live in different countries, so that's not happening anytime soon. Uh, I like the yellow and pink one, but I would wear the blue and red one. What other color combinations should I do? I don't know. I mean, I'm probably not going to make this bracelet for a while after I do this tutorial, um, just because. But I do plan on making a collection at some point. I can hear the planes flying over you. Oh my god, you can hear that? That's crazy. Yeah, I, there's a lot of planes flying over me <laughs> at all times. I live on the route um, that the planes take to go into Heathrow. So all the planes flying over me are planes that are going to land in Heathrow. Like, I literally live on that route. There's a lot of the time I look out the window and I can see a plane, like, going directly at me and then turning to go to Heathrow. Um, so, yeah. 
Uh, would you rather only use DMC or you only use Amazon Thread? Probably DMC. Because uh, I like Amazon Thread, but I think the DMC like makes the knots a little bit more defined. I don't know how to describe it. <sighs> Black, grey and white. That's actually a really nice colour combination. Purple and green. Ooh, that sounds good as well. Yeah. Christine simply no logical has a peely bag and now you have something similar. Oh, I love Christine. I love her peely bag. Yeah, I, I know about her peely bag and I really like Christine. Christine um, inspired me to buy this, which is a hollow polish. She inspired me to buy this and this, which is another hollow polish. Uh, and this, which is the peely base coat that she used to use. So, I, I like Christine quite a lot. I've made some weird questionable purchases because of her. <laughs> I don't have any of her polish at the moment though, because I've sort of... I used to be really into painting my nails, but now because of my job I can't really do it. Um, so yeah. Greys and teals, yeah. If you make another one, you should do an electric green and black, or white and grey. You guys are great with color combinations. I really should do it. I love watching your oldest dreams while I'm knotting. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you. I didn't realize that a lot of people actually, like, watch my streams after they're finished. I didn't realize that there was, like, a demand for that. If I had known, I would leave my streams up since the beginning. Like, I, I had no idea that people rewatch my streams after they're done. Uh, but yeah, if you don't know, I have a, a streaming channel on YouTube now where I just re-upload my videos. It's called Masha Streams. It's linked under my videos and you can also find it linked on my channel page. I've got like an other channels uh, section where I post. So I've been re-uploading all of my Twitch streams onto there after the stream so you can watch that if you want um, to get a replay because they don't um, stay up on uh, on Twitch for long. I think it's like a week or something or two weeks maybe. If you want to do a Christmas collection the same colors but different patterns I'm making a mini starburst and I will do this pattern. Oh I want to do. Yeah that's awesome. I used to like her, but I don't know, I kind of fell out of watching girly kinds of videos like makeup and nails. I don't think she does any nail videos anymore. She just does other stuff. Am I wrong? Let me actually check it out. I haven't seen her videos in a while, weirdly. Uh, simply... Oi, what was I doing? Simply Nailogical. I do watch her pod podcast a lot. I listen to her podcast. I haven't watched her videos in a while, though. Yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't really do stuff, like, how many bottles of nail polish can my cat jump over? Uh, so it's not really tutorials and stuff anymore. But yeah, I do watch her podcast though, well, listen to it. I quite enjoy listening to her and Ben talk about random stuff, I think they're both quite intelligent people and they're really interesting to listen to. But I haven't seen her videos in a really long time. Uh, Sorry, I just sort of zoned out. You can hear the planes flying over me again, hopefully. I just realized you have three YouTube channels. I do. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I've got one main one, right? That stream one isn't necessarily a YouTube channel. It's just like an archive of my um, videos, my streams. So it's not really like a channel that I have to actively work on. It's just like I upload my stuff to there and it's just sort of there. <laughs> um, but yeah, my second channel and my main channel are channels that I actually work on. Second channel less so, but still. I'll be starting my very first alpha soon. Do you have any tips? My tip is to not give up straight away. It's probably going to be quite challenging the first time and you're probably going to make a terrible job and it's going to be messy, but don't give up. You'll, you'll get there. But And also good luck. You're going to have fun. Uh, you should do yellow and like lime. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That may be why too. Remember uh, what was Graveyard Girl? She was popular too. I knew of her, but I never really watched her videos. Was, her name is Bunny, right? I think I'm not sure. Yeah, but I haven't. I've never really watched her videos. Um, who did I used to watch like on a regular basis? I used to watch Markiplier, Jacksepticeye quite a lot, like on a regular basis. I used to watch PewDiePie quite a lot. Um, Simply and Illogical. I feel like I don't watch YouTubers anymore. Just like as a whole, I don't watch YouTubers that much anymore. I watch people. I mean, they're still technically YouTubers, but I, I think you'll understand what I mean. There's people who are like YouTubers, YouTubers, like in the most 
um, typical, like, general sense. Um, but there's also people who just, like, sort of do YouTube. And I watch a lot of, um, video essays and commentary analysis videos of, like, different, uh, literature and stuff. I find that really interesting. Or, like, TV shows. Uh, there's a guy called Code Bullet that I watch a lot. He does coding videos and I find him very entertaining. Um, so I tend to watch, like, those kinds of videos nowadays. Are you aware of Christine's allergy? No, I'm not. I haven't seen her videos, even her podcast, in quite a while, actually. I love Mark. Yeah, I've recently been back into watching Mark because I've been watching his Among Us Twitch streams. <laughs> uh, well, re-uploads of them. I haven't actually seen him live in a while, but I've been looking at his uh, re-uploads of his streams. I find that quite entertaining. But yeah, I don't know. I sort of went through... Oh, wrong string. Wrong string. I went through like a phase of what I was watching and now I feel like I'm in a very different phase YouTube wise. I've completely changed the content that I watch nowadays, which is interesting. I wonder if like, if I wasn't Masha Knots, if I would watch myself. Do you know what, like if that makes sense? I don't know. Like if, would I watch my own content? Probably. <laughs> I'm always very curious to like, know what you guys see me as, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Code Bullet is the best. Yeah, I literally, like, right before the stream, I was watching his most recent video about Tetris. <laughs> he's a great guy. He does, um, like, coding videos uh, where he's, like, training AI to do something or, I don't know, whatever. Like, I find them very entertaining on just, like, an entertainment type of level, but also as, like, someone who understands programming, I find it very interesting as well. Mm, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but um, on my TikTok you followed me and I made a drawing of Markiplier. It'd be cool if you checked it out. Oh, that's cool. I didn't see it, but I might check it out afterwards, yeah. Mark just makes me happy. Yeah, he's lovely. Hi, I just followed you on Twitch. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for being here. I have an alpha that's taking forever. Do you have any advice on getting through it? Lots of color changes. Oh, lots of color changes are like the death of me. I don't know. <laughs> just power through it, I guess. <laughs> I really don't know. I find it... Um, like, I mean, you obviously probably do this already, but, like, I usually watch something or listen to something while I'm knotting as well, so that I'm not just knotting. Um, I assume if you're on my stream, you're probably knotting as well, so you already know how to do that, but I don't know. I find that that helps me get distracted from whatever I'm doing as well. Like, if I have a bracelet that has a lot of um, switches or whatever, then that helps. When I was making this bracelet, I was actually listening to an uh, audiobook. I really enjoy Russian classics. I really genuinely do, but I find them absolutely boring to read. I cannot read them for the life of me, and I really don't know why. Like, it's Russian classics specifically. Like, other books, whatever, I'm fine with reading, but Russian classics are so intensely boring for me to read. Because um, probably a lot, like, there's a lot of words that I also just don't understand because, like, it's phrases and um, terms that aren't used anymore, and I think, like, when you listen to an audiobook, when someone is reading it out to you with, like, tonality and, like, inflection and whatever, like, you can sort of gather from context what is meant, whereas when you're reading, like, I find it kind of difficult. Anyway, I'm, I'm really enjoying listening to, like, listening to Russian, um, audiobooks on classics, so I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Um... Would you be able to switch uh, stream Among Us on Twitch one day? I'm just curious. Yeah, we discussed this a bit earlier in the stream. Like, I would love to do that, but I just don't know how to because, oop, because if I play with random people, then it's boring. If I play with my friends, I can't really do that because they're Russian. If I play with you guys, you guys are going to be able to see if I'm the imposter if you watch the stream. So I don't know who to play with. Like, you need people to play with, and I don't know who to play with. Mm. Uh, I think it's really weird sometimes... Oh, no, not sometimes. I think it's really weird uh, when someone treats you or Alex like a celebrity. For me, you're just like friendly people from my neighborhood living in other countries. <laughs> yeah, uh, honestly, I, I, I don't think I will ever consider myself a celebrity, even if I reach like whatever ranks, which I don't expect to, but like I'm just saying, like if that ever happens, I don't think I'll ever consider myself a celebrity. But definitely not at this point. Like, it, it's weird to me. <laughs> This doesn't happen very often. I feel like the majority of my followers do treat me as, like, you know, friendly neighborhood nutter. 
um, but sometimes you get the occasional like message or whatever where people are just like fangirling over you and it's so weird I don't know how to respond to it like it's very flattering don't get me wrong but it's just like really I don't know how to respond I, I don't know how to interact with people who like fangirl because it's really strange it's something that you don't get taught how to do and I don't know how to do it uh, what's your favorite band slash singer? I don't really have one. I don't know. Oh my god, who messaging me? Who is messaging me? Oh, it's my reminder to do my laundry. I already did my laundry. Uh, did anybody watch Amanda Rachley stream Among Us? Oh my god, she has a streaming channel? I had no idea. I follow her on YouTube. I really enjoy her content. She was the person who really got me into bullet journaling, which I've stopped doing recently, but I was really into it for like a solid two years. Uh, I really like her. She's awesome. I didn't know she streamed, though. <laughs> I can't clean it, but would you rather uh, use brown with pink forever or never read a book again? Oh my god, you're making me suffer again. I can't, I can never choose never read a book again. I enjoy reading way too much and I value it quite a lot. So I'm going to have to choose the brown and pink. Unfortunately, I don't really, don't really like that color combination. Like, it's fine, but it's also not the, my favorite. But I'm gonna have to choose that. Why are you making me suffer? <laughs> uh, I'm watching you while knotting a pattern. I'm making this pattern on bracelet book. I, I can't really check it out right now, but awesome! I love my lives because it's just like, you know, a knotting session for us together. I got a villain journal, but I kind of gave up on it because I hate my handwriting. I gave up on mine because I was spending too much time on it. Like, I was trying to make it look perfect perfect and beautiful and I was spending way too much time on it. Um, oh, I wonder if I can actually show you my bullet journal. I think there's a page. I don't want to show you, like, my personal stuff because I used to use it as a diary as well, writing down what I did every day. And that's a bit too personal, but I do have... Yeah. Like, I have a page like this where I didn't fill it in. Um, I had... I used to have, like, the number of the week then a calendar to show what week it is and then like days of the week where I would write down any tasks and then I would also write down what I did in that day um, as like a reminder and I also had can I show this I don't know if I can show this Wait, okay, I'm just gonna sort of cover this, but I did like the months like this and then I had a spread for the entire month So I did like a month title and then a spread for uh, Okay, I can show this I think these are a bit too personal, but I can show this I did I color-coded my lessons and this bonfire night I had work my work shifts were always gray uh, The lesson is because I used to teach English to kids. I dropped that after a while, but I did that for like or five years I don't remember um, but I used to do lessons so it was also like kind of my work I color coded everything and then I had birthdays and stuff <laughs> I had different trackers anyway it was, it was a good time I wonder if I could show you anything else from here I used to do, do like spreads like this which were a little bit cringy like quote pages Maybe I will do that at some point again, but I don't know. What is it today? Today is the 30th of September. Let me find September. Okay, September was red. September, September, September 30th. So what year is this? 2018, so two years ago. Uh, what did I do two years ago today? Oh, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna read that. That is very personal. <laughs> okay, the only thing I can read out of here is uh, I talked to my sister, talked to my mum about my wedding, chose a wedding cake, and I bought Hank Green's new book. That's what I did two years ago today. There we go. Anyway, I used to bullet journal quite a lot. I really enjoyed it. I might get back into it at some point, but I really don't know. It took a lot of time and effort. I did really enjoy it though, so maybe I will again. I, mm, I'm looking at this. Okay, I really need to cover this. Oh my god, this has a lot of personal information on it. How do I? What can I cover you with? I don't even have a piece of paper or anything. I'm gonna cover you with a book. 
<laughs> I did like spreads like this. I really like how that looks. I used to be really. I was. Nah, can't speak. I used to really be into brush lettering as well. Anyway, sorry, I'm not showing you guys much, am I? I'm just sort of talking about it, but I'm not showing you much. But yeah, I also did like yearly spreads at the beginning with like deadlines and birthdays and other events. Anyway, it was a fun time. I used to really like it. This one is uh, silver. It's the, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the Leucht, 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 term, term, Blech. those ones, the little journals, little small ones. There we go. Oh, I missed a lot of stuff that you were saying. If you guys are in school, please pay attention to school. Exactly. I agree with that. Please pay attention to school. I will still be here. The stream is going to be uploaded to my stream channel, so you can watch it later. Don't worry about it. Please focus on school. I promise that's more important. The music in the background is on the study music playlist I listen to on Spotify. Uh, this is the chill hop music. Uh, this playlist, if anyone's curious, just Google, well not Google, uh, find it in the Spotify search. Chill hop radio. That's the one. Uh, Beats to relax slash studies to chill hop music 2020. I have a license to use it, so that's why I'm using it. I purchased the license to use it. I'm really, I really love chill hop music. Uh, but yeah, the live streams on YouTube as well. I used to watch them a lot when I was studying for my exams and stuff. They're really relaxing. I really like them. Oh, someone redeemed a Instagram. Did I miss any other ones? No, I didn't. Okay, it's just this one. Let me take a picture. I took a picture of it. I'll follow you after the stream. Did you get the new update for Animal Crossing? I haven't yet. I haven't been on today. I haven't been on today. Was it just released? I haven't been on today. I need to get it. Is it the pumpkins one already? Um, I made a digital art piece of your name. I posted it on Insta and tagged you, but I think you ever got it. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, everything's not loading. Nothing is loading. Ooh, I have qu quite a few tagged pictures. I need to actually like go through these more often. I look through them every once in a while, but I don't look through them that often. Send it to me as a DM. Send me the post in a DM. I'll check my DMs after the stream. So I don't think I'll be able to find it now in the tags. Yeah. Sorry, there's quite a lot of tags. It's messy. Uh, da, 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 da. What was I doing? I was doing a little chevron bit. The mailman just passed by my window and scared the crap out of me. Oh no! I'm sorry, that's funny. I think the 2020s is just an excuse to, excuse to fail school. Honestly, I'm screwed. Oh, please don't fail school. Please don't fail school. I did that. I failed for school and it's not a fun experience. Please don't. But also, if you do watch my video, because I shared my experience of how I failed high school on my second channel, uh, if you want to see it. I like Study Music 2020 on Spotify. Uh, I love how the bracelet is coming along. Thank you. Can't wait to make my island spooky. Yeah, I'm still working on my island, to be honest. Like, I've done quite a bit. You guys have been asking me for my dream code. Maybe I should post that. I've done quite a bit on my island, but it's not anywhere close to where I want it to be. I don't have enough items, to be honest. I, like, I don't have that many furniture items. I just have, like, a very, very limited number of them. Uh, I love the new Animal Crossing update because uh, my ancient civilization teacher played the update during the class. <laughs> Aww. The trailer. Yeah, that's cute. Um... Above my Instagram, there was another person, and I'm making sure you didn't miss them. I'm pretty sure I took a picture of both of you. Let me just double check, just in case. But I'm pretty sure I took a picture of both of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine, don't worry. Both of them are there. Both of them are there. I just double checked. Eh. There we go. I'm running my first challenge on Bracebook, and all the photos I submitted are so pretty. I don't know who will be the winner. I find that that is very challenging yes whenever i run a competition or anything where i need to decide on a winner it is very hard to do <laughs> so i understand i understand i always tend to overshoot like last time i did a competition i did way too many winners 
and then I got really stressed trying to make all the braces for the winners because like uh, there were too many of them but I just didn't want to choose um, who to give the win to so I ended up making too many winners and it was just like oh my god it was a mess it was a mess how long will you be live for Ooh, I've been live for one hour 20 I'll probably get to two hours and then we'll see from there I usually stream for like one and a half two hours but we're close to one and a half and I'm not about to go yet so probably we'll get up to two Mine is a work in progress too because I just started playing. Welcome to the game. Welcome to the game. How do you keep your knot tension consistent? I always have one key bracelets because of that. I've been knotting for 11 years. That is how. A ton, a ton of practice. Um, a lot, like a lot, a lot of practice. That's the only way you can really get your knot tension to be the same. You just, it's muscle memory for me at this point. Like I don't even think about it at all. Like I'm reading the chat. I'm not even really looking at my bracelet. Uh, it's basically muscle memory. I notice when you knot, you pull your base strings to the side. Is that on purpose or is that how you knot? Um, I, okay, let me just show you once I finish this. Um, I take out the string that I'm working with, the leading string. I take out the strings that I need to do the knots on and I separate them with my fingers like this. I separate them with my fingers and I tie them and I how do I make them tight basically and then I go over them with the leading string on the other hand. I know you can't really, can you, there we, there we go, like this maybe we'll be able to see better. See what I'm doing? So I'm sort of, I'm pushing up the string with my finger. So I know what string I'm working with, and then I go over that string quickly. There we go, next one. I go over that with my other hand. So I can quickly interchange the strings without really thinking about it too much. And again, this is just muscle memory for me at this point. So, let me rearrange this. Sorry, I hope that didn't make too much of a sound. Um. But yeah, that's how. Mm, not tension is a problem for me too. Yeah, the only thing that it really can help you is practice. Sorry, let me just... There we go. I wanted to crack my back. Uh, when will you play Among Us again? Do you know? I don't know. I mean, I'm going to be playing with my friends after the stream, but I'm going to be playing with my friends. So I don't know when I'm going to be playing with you guys. At some point, though, I, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I find that... Blah, blah, blah. I find the finger, I tried the finger spreading thing and I just couldn't, it just annoyed me. Well, I think it's different for everyone, like, you know, it's that's the beauty of it, like, everyone does things differently, different knotters, not differently. I definitely find that this helps me, uh, that's the only real way I knot, that's just, I do that in every bracelet, whether that be an alpha or a normal pattern, but if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you, I'm sure you'll be able to find something that does work for you. I just share that tip in case it does work for you, you know? Try it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. If it does, great. That amazes me. I use both hands when I knot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, everyone knots differently. <laughs> everyone knots differently. I only ever use one hand to actually create the knot, but I do switch them. I do. I use my left hand for backward knots, my right hand for forward knots. Do you have preferred pronouns? Well, she, her, I guess. <laughs> I've never really thought about it. Um, but I guess those. Uh... I tried the finger spreading thing. Oh yeah, I just read that. I'm making a little skeleton on those keychains and I've been possessed to buy some. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, can you make more beginner alpha tutorials? I love all your videos, but alphas are quite new to me. So beginner alpha tutorials would be amazing. There's no way to make a tutorial for alphas. There's no segment knotting in it. You just need to know how to read the pattern and read the pattern. And I already have a tutorial on how to read the pattern. The reason I make tutorials for normal patterns is because you can read the pattern multiple ways. That's not the case for alphas. There's only one way to read every single pattern. So one tutorial is like a one for all. So there's no point in me making multiple tutorials, if that makes sense. Uh, when will the wrap up come out? Don't know. I haven't filmed it yet. <laughs> I want to film and finish this bracelet and then film the wrap up after I finish this bracelet. So at some point, but I don't know. I don't have to switch hands for different knots. Yeah, I'm saying everyone um, makes bracelets differently, and that's perfectly fine. I ordered a little thread on Etsy, and it's on the on its way from Turkey to the U.S. and it's so lovely. Good for you. That's so awesome. I hope you enjoy it. That knot is terribly made. Oh my god, that is stretched that so badly. Let me untie that. Look how bad that knot is. Like, look how stretched that is. This is one knot, this is the other knot, and there's just like a string coming off of it. 
I stretched it out horribly. So whenever I make a knot that I'm not happy with, I just untie it straight away. I'm probably going to retie the one before this as well because I don't think it's done very well either. Eh, there you go, I pulled it up a bit. And then I'm going to go over this again and make it better. Just be better. There we go. Oh, da -da -da -da. I got a 75% on the test that I completely winged. Congratulations. That's awesome. But make sure to study next time. But good for you. Uh, have you ever started a pattern that you were obsessed with and then like two days later you hated it? Uh, yes. Are you reading my mind? That happens to me a lot. I end up not finishing those usually. Um, yeah, you guys seem to think that I never dump my braces, but there's a lot of braces that I just haven't finished. <laughs> a lot. I'm so sad, but I have to leave for school. Um, I have, uh, and I've been on your life for a long time now. Bye. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. And have a good day at school. Are there any specific websites that you buy your string from? Not really. Uh, I mean, in Russia, yeah. But, I, I mean, I could tell you, but I'm going to put it in the chat. Uh, but that's Russia only anyway, so I don't know if it will help you in any way. Uh, I'm going to put spaces between the dot because otherwise it's just gonna not allow me to post it but yeah if you remove the spaces that is a website that's the website that i use when i'm in russia um but other than that i don't really i don't know i don't really buy string that much i only really buy string when i'm in russia because there's string that i can only get there i don't really buy string when i'm in the uk because i just have a lot of string <laughs> so yeah i don't know uh, I'm too patient to undo by bad knots. I just try to fix it as I go. That's not a good way to go along. Honestly, it's always better to untie a knot and retie it because you're not going to be able to really fix it after the fact. So yeah, don't do that. Uh, I'm now going to private school and my school is all online and I'm sad because I can't make any friends. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, online school, as far as I know, I mean, obviously I haven't really been going through it, but as far as I know, online school isn't really a fun experience for anyone. I'm really sorry to hear that. Etsy is a great place to find every kind of thread. Exactly, I agree with that. Etsy is a good place to find thread. That is a good point. I don't know how much of this brace I actually need to make. It's already quite long. I'm going to have to compare it. I want to make it the same length as the other ones. I'm going to have to compare it. Mm, give me a second. Okay, so let's align the top of it. Ooh, I'm actually like nearly done. I'm nearly done. I need to start going into the triangle end here. So I only really need to make like this much. We might be able to finish it on stream actually. And then I'll just film the intro and the outro after and i'll be able to post the video soon oh i thought there was a hair here there's actually just a hair on my screen <laughs> there we go ah uh, let me read what you guys are saying what is your favorite amazon string i don't really care i just buy whatever i don't have a preference uh, my birthday is coming up and i'm excited because i asked for a bunch of string ah oh, crafting materials is always such a good birthday gift good for you i'm really happy <laughs> and also happy early birthday i moved this year two and I've had made like, and I made some good friends uh, but I can't hang out with them and it sucks I know quarantine has not been fun I'm really sorry um listening and watching you stream while doing school is so relaxing oh I'm glad to hear that as long as you're still doing your schoolwork I don't mind I'm really happy to hear that but definitely focus on your schoolwork I promise it's more important I will still be here uh, I didn't get the notification until now. Wow. An hour and a half later. Great timing Twitch. Thank you very much. Uh, you're so fast it looks like a time lapse. Does it really? I mean, thanks, I guess. <laughs> this is just how I normally not. I was looking through. I have a new project right now. So my dad, uh, basically, he had a project. <laughs> For his life, he bought a camera when I was still a kid and he made it his project to basically have an archive of all family photos and videos 
and he made this massive archive, which at this point is like one and a half terabytes of uh, photos and videos that ranges from like the 1990s to now. I was born in 98 and there's videos of and photos of like my mum pregnant with me. There's videos and photos from like way before I was born for my older sister's childhood. And uh, he basically, he did a great job in collecting and making of course all of those photos and videos and having them stored in one place so it can all be together. But he did a terrible job organizing it all. He did a great job making sure that everything was there but he did a terrible job organization wise. So I've made it my project in the recent um, weeks to just sort through that family archive and um, yeah, basically organize it. And I've been trying to organize it chronologically, uh, going by months. So I'm going like year, month, and then like giving a descriptor. So like, for example, it would be like 2004, April, Masha birthday or whatever. Um, so yeah, um, but it's been my project for a while and I found some photos of like me knotting forever ago. I posted one to my uh, Instagram story. It was me knotting in I think 2009 or 2010, I don't remember. I was like such a baby <laughs> and it's so cute. I don't know, it's so great looking through all those um, photos and videos. It's like such a trip down memory lane, especially like from my early childhood. It's really great. Um, what is your favorite type of video to film? I think it depends on my mood. I can't really tell you. Like, sometimes I'm not in the mood to film any face videos and I'm in the mood to film, like, only tutorials and such. But sometimes I'm in the mood to not film tutorials at all and I just want to film, like, face videos where I have fun and do stuff. I don't know. It really depends. Are you planning on making a tutorial on the brick stitch technique? Yes, at some point I'm planning on making a tutorial on that. Mm. Oh no. Oh yeah, I did this correctly. I thought I accidentally frayed a string, but no, I do for strings. Oh, my dad lost most, most of my sister's baby photos and she's never let it go. Oh no, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's terrible though, honestly. That's a really sad thing to have happened. We have, like, my dad made the archive and we have, like, three different copies of it. He has it on his hard drive and I'm pretty sure he has a backup, of, backup hard drive with it as well. So he has two copies just on him. Uh, my aunt has a copy over in America because that's where she lives and she has a copy on her hard drive and obviously I have a copy so we've got three copies of the family archive um, alive just in case you know one of us you know if something happens to one of the copies of the file gets corrupted if there's like you know some kind of damage to it or whatever um, then there's also other copies because it's like it's I mean our entire family archive my dad was also really great uh, in the sense that he made a huge family tree. He was able to somehow collect information. I think it goes up to like eight generations or something. Something like eight or nine generations. Like he, and it's also super wide. So he's managed to get a lot of information about our family tree and genealogy um, in like a file. So he's been really great with family history. And then he found a bunch of like my grandparents and my great grandparents photos and he's been scanning them uh, to convert them to digital photos. Um, so yeah, he's been really good with that and I really, really appreciate it. And I'm just trying to do the work to sort it through. Did you upload the September wrap up? No, I haven't filmed it yet. <laughs> it's going to come soon though. It's going to be early October. Unfortunately, I was a little bit late with it, but I didn't make that many bracelets in September. So I thought like at the end of the month, I'm going to make a couple so that I can actually post it in the video because otherwise the video would be really boring. Uh, online school was pretty boring. Oh no, pretty good until I embarrassed myself. I accidentally unmuted and called these two girls out for being annoying in the chat. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so glad I wasn't doing online school. I keep seeing videos on TikTok and stuff uh, where people are just embarrassing themselves. I did something wrong. Oh no, I'm going to the left now. Uh, where people are just embarrassing themselves because they didn't realize they were unmuted. I'm so sorry that happened to you. That's really funny though. Uh... I just got back from volleyball and I can't wait to not along with you. Come join! Have fun! <laughs> not me trying to be on Zoom, watch your stream and not brace at the same time. Oh, come on! Focus on school, focus on school. I'll be here still. There'll be a replay on my um, YouTube channel. Oh, someone redeemed a follow me on Insta. Let me take a picture. Oh, sorry. I just snapped the camera. I'm really sorry. That made a really weird noise in video. But I took a picture of it. Um, I don't know why it's showing you have been timed out. Do you have any idea? I have a bot on the stream, but I'm pretty sure I turned it off. The bot might have timed you up. Or one of the mods might have timed you up. I really don't know. I'm sorry. 
Um, have you ever been noticed in public? I haven't. We actually talked about this earlier in the stream. This never happened to me. If you ever see me in real life, definitely come up and say hi. I would love that. Um, <clears throat> we have pictures of me and my siblings in a pumpkin patch. Um, on the Y buffet for a seasonal decor. <laughs> That's really funny. Did you watch any sports when you were a kid? Oh, did you do any sports? I, I don't know why I read that as watch. I, yeah, I did, um, what did you say? I do competitive dance. That's awesome. I used to do ballet. I did ballet for like a s few years. Um, I did swimming for a bit, but I dropped that pretty quickly. I did tennis for a bit, but I dropped that pretty quickly. I think ballet was the only one that really stuck around for a while. Uh, but I did try a bunch of different activities. So yeah, I haven't done that in a while though. Um, did you know how your dad? Do you know how your dad managed to get so much family info? My dad um, was really obsessed with doing that. That was like his project for a really long time. Uh, he basically like my great grandparents were alive um, until very recently. So he basically talked to them a lot. He had them. He gave all of my great grandparents who were alive um, recorders, voice recorders, and he gave them instructions to basically like try to record voice messages like a certain amount of hours a week <laughs> made them work essentially and they would record record voice memoirs uh talking about their family life and their family history and talking about people and he basically um well talked to them and then listened through those voice notes and gathered a bunch of information from that i'm pretty sure he found a bunch of documents as well when sorting through my great grandparents stuff he found some documents about like well, you know, like legal stuff, like buying, selling land or houses and stuff or marriage certificates or whatever. And he got a bunch of information from that. And then we happened to somehow accidentally find relatives that lived in uh, Latvia. And we actually went to visit them once. Uh, I have no idea how he found them, but that we share uh, com our closest common, my closest common ancestor with those people is my great great grandma so like a, <laughs> they're really really distant relatives i have no idea how he found them but um they are also on our family tree and we basically he met them and turns out that um they know quite a lot about our family tree as well so they exchanged information and they he also made a family it, basically that's how our tree grew horizontally and a little bit vertically as well so i don't know he he had that as his project for a while so and i'm really grateful for it but I'm basically trying to make it cohesive as well. And then after he did that, and then boom, Stefan and I got married, I decided that I want to do that as well. Because, like, whenever I have kids as well, I want my children to be able to look at their family tree and not only see my side of it, but also Stefan's. Um, so I made it my project to do that. So I was talking to his parents, his grandparents, to whoever I could, basically, from his side of the family to create his family tree. And I was actually able to create a pretty big one as well from their side of the family so I'm pretty happy with that pretty happy with that Harry Potter TikTok has taken over me <laughs> yeah I was there for a while I think I was sort of slowly drifting away from it but I was there for a while so I can relate mm. my oh sorry my friend got called out for sending an audio message with swears accidentally unmuted oh no <laughs> oh no I focus better when knotting. That's awesome. I actually find that too. I focus better when knotting as well. I find that I need to do something with my hands. I think it might be, like, I've never been officially diagnosed, but I'm pretty sure I have ADD. And I think that it helps me, like, get some of my energy out and, like, shift my focus a little bit. I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but I do think that it helps me as well. <coughs> Your dad sounds smart. Thank you. I think he is. He is pretty smart. I, I do think so. How much longer will you be streaming? At least 20 minutes, but probably more. I don't know. Um, I just made a mistake. I, I just realized I made a huge mistake like 10 rows ago and I don't know how what to do. That really sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm really sorry to hear that. Uh, I love learning. Uh, I love learning about family history. My grandpa used to use... Blah, blah. My grandpa used to do a lot of family scrapbooking, but then he died. Well, maybe you can pick up that hobby as well. You can look through his scrapbook. Maybe continue that going, but only if you want to, I mean, you know. Mm. I don't know how you edited the diamond cross so fast, like you were on speed mode. I know, I that was such a huge video. 
I really don't know how I edited it so quickly, but I was really determined to put it out because I was really happy with it. What do you have any um feedback on that for anybody who watched the Diamond Cross tutorial? Like I'm very sort of new in making uh, oh, I'm very new in making advanced tutorials, so I really don't know if that was any good or not. Like if you could give me some feedback, that would be really nice. But I I was quite proud of the video. I think I made it quite well. Let me know if there's something that I should change for like new videos if I ever do them. But yeah. Thank you for appreciating <laughs> my editing skills. <laughs> uh, totally random, but what are your thoughts about arranged marriages? I don't really have any thoughts on them. I am against forced marriages, but I know that that is not the same thing. Um, and if arranged marriages work out and are, you know, all participants are willing, I don't see anything bad about them. But I don't have any like strong opinions about them either way, if that makes sense. Like I don't really care that much. <laughs> it's as bad as that sounds, like you know what I mean. Like I just doesn't really affect me, you do what you want, as long as it's not forced, go if, go for it, you know what I mean? Mm, you should do more advanced tutorials. I want to, yeah, but it's also very difficult to find patterns that you can make tutorials on. I, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, how much longer will you be on stream? I have something to do, but I want to come back. I'm probably going to be on stream for at least another 20 minutes. I don't know how much longer after that, but... There we go. You see a spider on the wall, what are your reactions? Scream as loud as I can, call Thomas. Although I don't think he's home at the moment. Mm. And evacuate the premises. And wait for him to get rid of it. <laughs> that is my reaction, typically. I also have a spider repellent spray, but I also know that if you spray them, they tend to get aggressive. So maybe I won't do that. I also sometimes suck spiders up with a hoover, but I'm also terrified that there's going to be, like, it's going to run towards... I don't know. I'm terrified of spiders. So yeah. Mm. My dad also did research on my grandma's family tree, uh, so now we have this thick book of information of our family. It's funny to hear that your dad does family tree research as well, Masha. Yes, that's... I, I really... I find it fascinating. I find it fascinating. Don't just have a book, though. I think you should really try to digitize um, whatever you can, because then you can make multiple copies and backups of it, because physical items can not only, like, get lost or get damaged or whatever, they can also, like, the ink, the ink can fade away and, like, it can just get old and frail and whatever, so definitely I recommend trying to digitize. The program that we use is Geno Pro, um, that's the one that we use, uh, to make a digital family tree, and I, I think it's quite good. You can add... Obviously, like, you can make a family tree and, like, uh, edit it, but you can also add, like, biographies to everyone, um, like, wedding dates, um, you know, birthdays, death days, whatever, uh, photos, and, like, information about their education, whatever. You can add, like, a lot of information about people. So I definitely recommend that. I also recommend making two copies of your family tree because you want one family tree which is general and it's wide because you have like everyone that you know on that family tree but you also probably want to copy with you specifically and your direct ancestors ancestors and why can't i say that word? ancestors is that correct hey siri how do you spell ancestors Ancestors. Yeah, I am pronouncing that word correctly, okay. Anyway, um, you want to make a family tree directly with your ancestors, so like your parents, your grandparents, whatever, like just specifically the people whose genes directly affected you. Uh, and that is going to be a much smaller family tree, but that family tree is going to go directly up. Um, so you want probably both of those. That's At least that's what I did. Um, I think that is good to have. I don't I don't know why because the the bigger one especially if you have like a lot of people on it can get really messy especially because people get divorced remarried have more kids it's a mess to organize uh, I think you did a great job on the diamond cross tutorial one more thing that I would say is that you don't really need to go into a lot of detail because people uh, that make them advanced that make them are advanced I hope that makes sense I agree with you I think I think so I think I should give less detail uh, when I do that, but I do also expect uh, people to be watching the tutorials who aren't as advanced as they think they are, if that makes sense. People who are trying to do a pattern uh, that are maybe not really there yet, that they need that extra bit of help. But I don't know, I find it really difficult to find that balance when I'm doing advanced tutorials. But I did also think about that, so potentially maybe next time I'll do it a little bit less. I'm in love with that reaction to spiders. Escape the premises. Yes. I mean, first you want to alert, then you want to escape. 
But you only want to escape once you have alerted and you have pointed specifically to where the spider is. Because if the spider disappears before the person who's going to get rid of it comes into the premises, if you escape, the, pi the spider is already gone. <laughs> and that's worse than it being there. <laughs> Knowing that a spider is there somewhere but you don't know where it is, that's worse than it being there in my opinion. Uh, thanks for the tip. You're welcome. I hope it helps. Uh, I need help. How can I easily use metallic threads? Tie a little knot at the beginning and at the end so that the edges don't fray entirely. I find that that helps, but in general they're very annoying to work with, in my opinion. Have you ever tried shifting realities? I've never tried that, no. I know that people do that. I am not particularly interested in doing that myself, though. Uh, I'm not joking. I'm working on my iPad and you just activated my Siri. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that it happens. I'm sorry. I should probably stop doing that on streams. <laughs> uh, I just... Oh. Uh, I just realized I accidentally skipped a knot on a bass string five rows ago and now I don't want to go back and fix it. Oh no. I'm sorry. Would you ever make a tutorial on the mini Starburst? Probably not, to be honest. It would be quite boring. Like, it's the same as the bigger Starburst, just with less strings. I don't really want to make another tutorial on that. Uh, someone read... Someone redeemed a follow me on Instagram. Let me take a picture of that. Give me one second. Yep. There we go. I took a picture of that. I'll follow you after the streams. I love spiders. I'm not going to lie. I am jealous of you. I... Oh, how... I, I'm, I forgot that I'm nearly done. Have I? No, I haven't gotten to that point yet. Okay, I need to be more mindful of what I'm actually doing. I probably need to make... Let me align this properly. One, two, three. I'd say three more rows and then I'm probably going to go into making the triangle end. Okay. I'm jealous of people who aren't scared of spiders because that is really annoying. I really don't like being scared of spiders. It's very annoying to have to <laughs> be scared of them, especially because I live in the UK and spiders are a thing here. So, yeah, it is not funny. <laughs> uh... This color combo is beautiful. Thank you. Sorry I just joined. Welcome, welcome. Uh, you don't have to answer this, but thoughts on the LGBTQ community. I am technically part of that community. Um, I am the B. Uh, I don't know how many of you know that. I'm pretty open about it, but it's just not very relevant to my life anymore since I'm married. It doesn't really matter, so I never really did like a coming out video or whatever. Um, but yeah, I am the B. I'm part of the community. I don't really have any thoughts on the community. I, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's great, you know, I don't, I don't know how to, I don't have any thoughts on it. I'm part of it. I don't know what specifically you're interested in hearing from me in that regard. I'm quite open to answering questions about it. If you have any questions, like, you can ask. I don't mind talking about this kind of stuff. Um, but I don't have any specific thoughts on it, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. You should make a bloopers video. I considered that. I might at some point. <laughs> Uh, do you like making bracelet patterns or just the bracelet? I've tried making bracelet patterns, I'm not good at it. So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not. Are you going to finish the bracelet in the live or not? I'm not going to finish the bracelet in the live because I need to film it for the tutorial. I'm just going to... I'm going to finish the rose for the live, but then I'm going to finish... I'm going to film me making the triangle end portion of the video... of the bracelet for the video. So, yeah. Not on stream, but I'm gonna get to it. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Someone asked me if I support BLM. You don't have to answer if it's a bit too political. I don't know how to uh, talk about topics like this without going over a line because I don't want to... Topics like this are very difficult to talk about because I don't really know where the line is and I don't want my channel to become like a political thing. I have my own opinions on things, obviously, uh, and I do things behind the scenes on my own to support things that I believe in, but I don't know how much of this I should be sharing on my channel. Uh, what I will say, however, is um, I did voice my support for the movement back in... Uh, August, was it? No, June. I was still in Russia, so it was probably June or July. I support the I support the cause. Of course, like, I believe in the cause, 
if that makes sense. I don't know how to- I find this really difficult to talk about. <laughs> I don't know. It isn't political. I agree. I agree it isn't political and definitely shouldn't be political, but people do make it political. If that makes sense. People do make it political. Uh, but yeah, I, I do support. Of course, I do. Yeah. Uh, I love your videos, Masha. I'm happy that I'm done with school early so I can come and watch you a little bit. Thank you. That's really awesome to hear. Thank you. That's really that's really awesome to hear. Yeah, I learned for the past half hour, and that's more than I've made in the past three weeks because I'm in a slump, which sucks. But I'm really proud of myself. Slumps suck. Slumps really do suck. I'm really sorry, but I'm really happy and proud of you for making a bracelet today. Thank you for joining me and making uh making a bracelet with me. Uh, I'm with a B too. Congrats <laughs> for coming out. I guess. <laughs> And also, yeah, I am as well. Uh, BLM isn't political, but can lead to something political. Yeah, I mean, people make it political, and it's really annoying. Like, these, there's things that shouldn't be political, but people make it political. I don't know, it's just really weird. Plus, I feel very detached from it anyway. Where am I? I need to probably make, like, two or three more before I can stop. I feel very detached from it as well because first of all when it was happening like I was well it's still happening obviously like it's never really over but like when it was really really heightened back in like June July I can't remember I was in Russia um very detached from it entirely I only really found out what was going on through social media and I feel like I found out quite late anyway so it, I don't know it's very difficult for me to wrap my head around it because like I spent so much time living in Russia where it's not an issue at all because like black people don't live in Russia mostly like the percentage of black people living in Russia is so tiny like I've barely ever seen any in my life at all in Russia so it's very hard for me to understand all the issues that are going on and it's very hard for me to like wrap my head around everything especially because I'm like I've never lived in America I don't really understand that I know that it also happens in the UK but I haven't been in the UK in my adult years that much I've only been here for like three years I don't know, it's really a difficult topic for me to try to understand, but I've been trying to like listen and educate myself and do what I can behind the scenes. I just don't know how much I should be talking about it on my channel. I did voice my support for it a little bit uh, back then, but I, I just, I, I, being a quote unquote influencer, uh, nobody teaches you how to do this stuff. I really don't know how to go about things like this, so yeah. Sounds like you support equality. I mean, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how you could not support equality. I don't get how people don't support equality. It doesn't make any sense to me. It just seems so obvious to me as a human being. Like, of course I'm gonna support equality between anything. Uh, is it bad that it took me a while to get what BLM stood for? No, it's not bad. Like, people learn. You know, you educate yourself. Like, don't be ashamed for not knowing something. Mm. So yeah, what time is it for you? It's nearly 6 p.m. for me. Uh, do you join other people's lives? If yes, what are your preferences? I do sometimes. Um, I try to. I mostly watch like gaming lives, to be honest. Uh, sometimes I join some Instagram lives. I mostly watch YouTube videos though, or like replays of lives on YouTube. So, yeah. um, filming my wrap up for my blog right now. That's awesome. It's good to see other people doing that as well. Uh, would you rather never use a gradient color theme or never use the rainbow color theme? Ooh, never use the rainbow. I like the rainbow, but it's I overuse it to be honest. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with never use a rainbow and do a gradient. Uh... Sorry, I wasn't trying to make it political. I just know that some people think it is. Uh, but that's not what I meant to. I just don't think it is political personally. No, don't worry about it. I, as I said, I'm pretty open to talk about the majority of things. Like, really, you can really ask me questions about basically anything. I don't really mind talking about stuff. Um, like, you can even ask me some personal questions. I'll try to reply if I feel like I want to. But I I don't know. It's, it's difficult to talk about. Like, it's, it's just really weird to talk about. <laughs> Do you like Harry Styles? I like him, but I'm not, like, obsessed with him as I see a lot of people. Like, I just kind of 
generally I kind of like like him I, I don't really care that much about him I don't know I see a lot of people are very obsessed with him but like I don't know do you ever get bored while making this pattern because I usually get bored with the regular chevron uh, I don't know not this pattern not really I mean it is literally just one row that repeats itself but it's just like a repetitive hand motion I'm not really thinking about it and right now I'm just reading the chat I'm not really thinking about what I'm doing with my hands, it's just sort of automatic for me at this point. Uh, when you were a beginner, did you used to watch other people's tutorials? When I was a beginner, I learnt through forums, mostly. Forums, photo tutorials, that was the situation back in like 2009. Video tutorials were not really much of a thing. They existed, but they were very limited in supply. It was mostly unedited videos, like 40 minute video tutorial on like the chevron. <laughs> So video tutorials were not really a thing back then, I mostly learnt through forums and um, pictures, tutorial, photo tutorials. Any tips on period cramps? Ah, oh, I'm sorry you're going through that, yeah, that's our curse. Um, water bottles, a hot water bottle, I really like putting a hot water bottle at the back of my uh, back, helps me. Also just like lay down and chill, eat some chocolate, <laughs> I don't know but it sucks I know. Oh my god! Where am I? Where am I? Why am I measuring it from here? I shouldn't be measuring it from here. I should be measuring it from this side. And I still have a couple to do from here, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I should probably make another four rows. For some reason I was looking at this bit. But I should probably look at this bit. Sorry, I'm just talking to myself. You probably don't even understand what I'm talking about. Are you ever planning to try macrame? Yeah, I want to try it uh, at some point. I just haven't yet. <laughs> oh, you can hear airplanes flying over me again. I mean, if you can. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to be playing Among Us right after the stream with my friends. I'm really excited to do that. What else have I got planned today? I want to finish filming this video, start maybe editing it. This video should be really easy to edit, to be honest, because it's probably going to be quite a short video because the bracelet itself is literally just like one row. Um, so it should be quite an easy video to edit and probably will be quite short, to be honest, but we will see. <sighs> I'm glad to be doing this again because I took a bit of a break, but I'm glad to be doing this again. I have a YouTube channel with a little Hungarian knotting community. I don't feel like showing my face in the video. How did you convince yourself to do it? Ah. Uh, yeah, I was really scared of doing that for a really long time. I have I have commitment issues, which is really weird to say because I got married at 20 years old. Uh, but I have commitment issues and I was really scared to commit to my YouTube channel because like, as soon as you show your face, like basically I will be forever known as like that bracelet girl like if I ever want to create a YouTube channel about anything else I would always be known as like oh Marsha Knott's new channel I could never like reinvent myself if that makes sense and that was scary to me because I didn't know if I really wanted to fully commit to the bracelet thing I thought maybe I would you know eventually try to do a YouTube channel about something else um, but I only I decided to do a face reveal when my channel started to gain some traction I think it was about 4,000 followers or something like that. I started noticing a bit of a growth and people were joining um, the channel quite fast and people were commenting and I started seeing a bit of a community forming around the channel and I realized that if I show my face there's much more content that I can do. It opens the door to a variety of different content like challenge videos, just talking videos, mm, the meme ones where I did um, like meme review videos, whatever, stuff where I'm just talking to the camera. Um, I couldn't really do that when I just showed my hands. I could only really do like tutorials and stuff with my hands. Um, so yeah, I did that. Oh, thank you for subscribing! Um, how do I pronounce your name? Uh, Milena? Is that how I pronounce your name? Lena Bean? Thank you very much for subscribing, I really appreciate it. Thank you for joining. Uh, do you watch Friends? Oh yes, I've seen it. I rewatch it every couple of years. <laughs> I know all the episodes basically by heart. If so, do you like Ross and Rachel? I don't know, but I'm just curious of other people's opinions. When I first watched, I loved them and I did root for them, but the more I watch it, the more I realize that they had a really <laughs> toxic relationship, to be honest. Like, 
I think I just don't really like Ross anymore. I used to really like Ross and I realized that I just don't really like Ross anymore. I just don't, I don't know, I don't like him anymore. Um, I, the real relationship of friends was Monica and Chandler, of course. They were the best. Uh, Ross and Rachel, eh. Monica and Chandler definitely topped them. Much better. Uh, you're so close to 100k, I know, I'm so excited. It's such a beautiful number. And also I hit 50k about this time last year. So I doubled my channel in like a year, that's awesome. Uh, do you watch Marvel movies? They are the best. I used to. I sort of grew out of them, to be honest. I don't really like them anymore. I used to watch them a lot, but I also only used to watch them because Stefan made me. So I don't know if I ever really liked them that much. <laughs> uh, yes, that's right. Lol, most people don't say it right. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. I'm glad you agree. Monica and Chandler are just the best. Yes, I agree with that. I absolutely love the Monica and Chandler relationship. That's Really, the only reason I rewatch the show is because I want to see their relationship progressing over and over again. <laughs> I love it. Chandler is a little bit of like a little bit stupid as well. Like the when he was proposing, that whole thing where he messed up the proposal. Ah, that was so messy. I hated him in that episode. Um, but yeah, they are the best relationship. I'm really happy for them, and it's like oh, so cute, so cute. Oh my God, my nose is itching so much because I think I'm knotting, and I'm just there's dust on the strings and I'm nothing a lot and the dust is going up in my nose and it's like tickling my nose and it's so annoying uh, do you want to have a pet dog in the future my future plans are two cats and dog and maybe children I don't know <laughs> but yeah two cats and a dog definitely uh, when people subscribe with Prime do you see their Prime account name or their Twitch name I'm pretty sure the Twitch name I think it's the Twitch name. I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's the Twitch name. I'm thinking about subscribing with my fiance's Prime. You could do that if you want to. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the Twitch name because you connected to your Twitch account, so I'm probably going to see your Twitch account. Um, but yeah, for those of you who don't know who just joined, I did talk about this before, but if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account, and you can do that by Googling Twitch Prime. It will walk you through the process. And then you can subscribe for free. Uh, support me. Had no extra cost to you, so you can do that if you want to. Um, how often do you get negative comments? Not as often as you might think, actually. I do get them. Uh, I definitely do get them. I do get hate comments. I do get negative comments, uh, but probably not as often as you think. I don't know. Every day, but not that many a day, if that makes sense. How many strings are in this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You should check the pattern. It says on the pattern. I'm not sure. What's your favorite book? I don't think I have one. I don't know. Uh, how many colors are in this pattern? Three, seven, I think. I'm not sure. I was scrolling through Brie's book. <laughs> yes. That is one of my old accounts, yes. Uh, how do you become a moderator on Twitch? I mean, if you want to, I can make you one. Can I just do it from here? No, I can't. Yeah. Oh, I'm typing in Russian, that's why. I Yeah, my mods on Twitch are just like, mostly my, uh... No, go away. I don't want to do that. Uh, mostly my patrons, but I can add you as a mod if you want. I don't really mind. <laughs> uh... Mm -hmm. Amazon is the new Disney, just taking over. <laughs> How do you become a moderator on Bracer Book? Oh, that's a little bit more difficult. Uh, moderation on Bracer Book, the admin of Bracer Book decides if we need uh, more moderators. And he then chooses one. Uh, can I be a mod on here? Oh no, did I just start a wave of people asking to be mods? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I, maybe, at some point. I'm not going to do that again, though, because... People are going to start asking for it. <laughs> and I don't want to just continue to... Oh, no, I just made a mistake. Oh, my God. I just made a mistake. 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 There we go. I don't think I need many mods, to be honest, on the Twitch stream, because people are nice. I don't have that many viewers, so people are just really tame. I think moderators are really needed for, like, bigger channels that get a lot of viewers, and it gets messy, but it's fine. I don't think we need that many, to be honest. 
I just joined. Welcome. I mean, I'm going to go off live at some point soon. Because uh, I've been alive for like two hours now. But welcome, nonetheless. Ooh. I need to finish this bracelet. I think like, <laughs> I keep thinking that I'm nearly done. But I realize that I still need to make a couple more knots. Rose, pardon. This is weird. But I do like how this bracelet turned out, to be honest. I think it looks really nice. I'm glad that I was able to finish it. Because uh, I really didn't make that many bracelets this month. At all. So it's good to know. Hmm. There we go. What's that? There's some construction work going on outside or something. What's the thickest bracelet that you've knotted? I did a knot with me video. Um, like a 50 string wide bracelet or something. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I attempted some big ones, but I don't know what's the biggest one that I've made. Um, am I the only one that gets so excited to do the ends and ties? I get really excited to do that as well, because that means I'm finally done with the bracelet that I've been working on for forever. <laughs> so yeah. You are so nice. You just made her a month so easily. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. I don't mind. I just, I don't, yeah, I, I just don't want to continue doing that for the rest of the stream, so I stopped at one person. I'm sorry if anyone else wanted to be on too. It's just a very random, spur of the moment decision. Mm. Mm. Thank you for following Paulina. Is that the Paulina that I know? <laughs> Paulina? <laughs> is that you? Because I know someone in real life named that. I wonder if it is the same person. Um, this is my first time joining a stream while it's live, and I wanted to know how do I earn points, or how do I see how much I have. Uh, you earn points just by being logged in and watching the stream. Uh, and how to see how much you have, I actually don't know. Maybe someone else can answer. It should say somewhere. I genuinely don't know. Let me see. Ooh, there we go. Oh my god, these rows are acting weird. Okay, okay. Do I need to make more, or am I done? Let me get my ruler out. Where is my ruler? The one time I need it, it's always there. It's always in front of my face, but the one time I need my ruler, I can't find it. Okay, I'm gonna use my scissors. I think I'm gonna make one more row, and then I'm gonna go. Uh, I think that you just keep making more rows than you actually need to make because of the different thickness of DMC compared to the Amazon string. Yeah, I, but I don't want to make it, you know, it doesn't have to be the same amount of rows. It just has to be, like, the same length, essentially. But it's hard to tell because of the triangle ends. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's really difficult to tell. I'm trying to make it until this last, basically, thing, chevron, little chevron here. And I think that this light blue is the same as this light pink. So I only really need to make one more, if that makes sense. And then after that it goes into the triangles, which I'm going to film a tutorial on. So yeah. It's kind of difficult to tell with this pattern. I think it's easier to tell with other patterns because it's like a clear, there's a clear distinction usually. But with this one it's like really confusing because all the rows are the same. <laughs> but let's make one more and then I'm going to go. My nose is still itching, it's so annoying. Mmm... Are you excited to make Halloween themed alphas? Yes! I already made one. If you were here earlier in the stream, I would have spoiled it for you. I already made one and I filmed it for a Not With Me that I'm going to be posting later on in the month. I am really excited, yeah. I downloaded Twitch today so I can watch your stream. I, um, I saw it on YouTube. Welcome! Welcome! I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Uh, just watch the stream. If you see a bubble icon next to the chat box, click on it and you will see. There we go. See, you guys know much better than I do. Okay, it was the Polina that I know because her boyfriend just followed me as well. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hello. These are friends of mine. These are the friends that I'm going to be playing Among Us with after the stream. <laughs> nice to see you here. Thank you for coming. I also think they probably can't comment yet because I think there's a cooldown from when you can comment from when you first follow. But thank you for following me. Welcome to the stream. Um... Who are you? <laughs> I don't know who you are, but I'm assuming it's also someone that I'm going to be playing Among Us with. I don't recognize the username though. My friends are spamming me in the chat. Oh no. Wait, um, is it time to play already? Six, seven, eight. Didn't we say we were going to... 
Did I miss my Discord messages? I'm sorry. I swear we said we were gonna play later. Oh my god, I missed so many Discord messages. They're just like spamming me in the Discord chat. <laughs> oh, that's my friend Sasha. Hello, Sasha. None of your business. <laughs> Am I late? Mm. Sorry, I'm just reading. <laughs> oh my god. Kinda late, hello there. Kinda late. I thought we were meeting at 9 p.m. and it's only um 8 p.m. Okay, well I'm gonna finish this one row and then I'm gonna go join my friends on Discord. <laughs> uh how did you came up, come up with the hashtag Marsha Knots and so do I? I don't know, I was just trying to make someone something I think that hashtag is way too long, which is why I kinda stopped using it. Um I was um, I came up with the hashtag not with Masha for the competition and then I wanted to create a different hashtag for the challenges so that they are different places and I came up with that but then I realized that that's too long. Um, so yeah. I started a little Halloween alpha collection of neon skeletons and it's coming out so cute. Oh that's awesome! That's so cute. I really want to make that as well to be honest. I want to play Among Us. Oh, I'm going to play with you guys at some point as well but I, I prefer playing um, with my friends on Discord because I can actually voice chat with them as we're playing. And it's just much faster and much more entertaining to do that. But I do want to play with you guys as well at some point. So maybe we can do that. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to make this row really quickly. Because like my friends are watching my stream. I don't know. It's embarrassing. I don't like it when people in my real life come watch me do stuff. It's really weird. <laughs> so I'm going to finish this stream. Alright, after the stream we're going to go raid someone. So, uh... Earlier in the stream, someone said that they want me to raid someone specific. So if you have any suggestions for who we can raid after the stream, drop them in the chat. And I will do a raid on someone that you suggest. So, do that now. <laughs> and we can raid someone. Uh, do you prefer braided ties or twisted ties? I am a little bit weird. I have a clear preference. I make braided ties when I'm making alphas. And I make twisted ties when I'm making normal patterns. I don't know why that distinction came to be. But that is the case. I, I, I just, I don't know why, but you can even look at um, the bracelets that I've made this month, like this one, alpha braided ties, this one, normal twisted ties, this one, alpha braided ties, this one, normal twisted ties, Derek braided ties. So yeah, I don't know why, but that is just how my brain decided to classify uh, different bracelets. So yeah, I do both. I don't really have much of a preference. It just it depends on the type of bracelet that I'm making. Someone redeemed to follow me on Insta. I will take a picture and follow you after the stream. Your friends seem hilarious. They're great. <laughs> they like to troll me and tease me about my YouTube channel. So this is a bit awkward. But yes. Uh, I never noticed. <laughs> yeah, well, that's been the case for pretty much forever. I don't know why. I really I couldn't tell you why. But my brain just decides that that's why. Uh, this user is part of a crafting community. Are they live right now? Because if we, we have to raid someone who is live right now. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done basically with the bracelets. So I'm going to check if they are live. And if they are, um, we can raid them. Have you ever done the fishtail ties? No, they take way too much time and I just don't want to. But they do look really beautiful. They are live. Makers and crafting, that's a category? Why do I not use that? I'm just using the just chatting category. Makers and crafting is a category, and I didn't know that. Well, that's great. Alright, yeah, should we raid them then? So, I'm looking at it on my phone right now. It's a stream here. Should we raid them? What do you guys think? I think they're doing some sewing or something like that. Some kind of crafting stuff all right well i'm gonna do that then i finished the bracelet thank you guys for coming to watch me not uh i'm gonna film the rest for my youtube video but i have to untie this because i need to readjust it for the video anyway um thank you for coming i basically finished this bracelet with you guys i don't remember where we started but it was quite a while like here i might have done like this much on i don't know a while we did a while <laughs> but thank you for coming um We're gonna go raid this user that Melody suggested. If I can get a copy of that. Ooh. 
So yeah, for those of you who are new and don't know what is going on, so a raid is basically like, I'm finishing streaming at the moment, I'm not going to be streaming anymore, so I'm saying goodbye to you guys. Um, a raid is basically when you guys go raid someone else's uh, Discord stream, not Discord stream, uh, Twitch stream. Um, you can basically say like, oh, raided by Marshanot or whatever, or just like say, hey, raid, and then if you want to stick around and keep watching them, you can do that. If not, you feel free to leave. You can also not participate in the raid if you don't want to, it's just a fun thing that we can do. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and raid them. Thank you very much for coming. I'm gonna log off into the outro screen and figure out how to do this raid. <laughs> so stick around for like a little bit after that. But yeah, thank you for coming. I hope you had a great time, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.